Hello and Yay. welcome Yay. to another live stream and we love doing this every year. It is March Madness time. <laughs> um, we have usual guests except for one change which I'll come on to in a minute but if you are watching this right now and you've just joined us this happens every year when the bracket comes out for March Madness which is created by my good friends over at SWTVC. I like to do a live stream where we complete that bracket and I just want to say this right now, this isn't the official result of the bracket. You guys are going to be voting as the month goes on, but this is us mm -hmm. completing the bracket uh, tonight. Um, we all get to pick a character, and if it's a draw, then it will be going to the chat. I'll be putting a poll into the chat where you can be the deciding factor on who goes through into the next round. I will say hello to the chat in just a second because there is already... Wow, already 124 people watching, which is amazing. So thank you for turning up. Uh, but as always, uh, we're going to go around and just introduce my guests this week. We have Mr. Only One Kenobi. How are you doing, my good friend, Nick? Yeah, man. Good to be here, Tim. It's that time of year again. It's gone quick, hasn't it, man? <laughs> it has, it has, it has. But this is always this is always a fun stream. I always love doing this. Uh, it's it's always a good. It's always I don't think we could be as funny as John last night, man. <laughs> John was firing on all cylinders, man. <laughs> echo, 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 echo. <laughs> and um, that's a nice segue into actually wow. into uh, saying hello to John from the Vintage Concepts. Hello, and hello. Also, SWTVC. How you doing, my friend? Good. How are you doing? Thanks for having me on. I always love doing this. Let's see if I have yep. any more juice left after that two and a half hour stream yesterday, but I <laughs> always happy to do this as well. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's great. So the reason we, do, we, would, we would usually do this on a Saturday, um, but, uh, you know, it's March Mad Madness month and you guys are going to be doing some other live streams and stuff. So not to get in the yeah. way of that, we've, we've moved this to Sunday. Yes, um, and and yeah, we'll... in the past, we've done that one as a podcast and we just we wanted to have the all the SWTVC guys on this year. It's easier to do as a live stream. So thank you for yeah. all, you, all you British chaps, as you say, staying up late on a Sunday night. Yeah. <laughs> and then we move on to my buddy, Chris, from the Toys of the Jedi. If you follow him on Instagram, he has an awesome Instagram um, account page. Uh, he doesn't do too much on YouTube these days, but um, Chris, uh, Chris is replacing Christian. So usually we would have Christian on. Um, however... Um, Christian did want to send a, a little message, a little message to us. So, uh, oh, actually, first of all, John, um, I forgot to play this. Most of you know me for this. That's always a standard. <laughs> thank you, thank a you. Standard thing. But yeah, Christian, he he won't mind me playing this, I'm sure, because um, Christian, very good friend of mine, um, he he was very apologetic about why he could not be on this 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 year's stream. So he just sent me a quick a quick message. Just so. a little bit of a reminder. A word to the wise, if you will. Do not worry about the worries from yesterday. Leave it in the past. Move forward with confidence because there are so many new things to be experienced today. New joy to be had. So move forward, be strong, and have a good rest of your day. <laughs> Cheers, Christian. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> wow. <laughs> The words we needed to hear. Now, now, of course, people that know Christian, like, we, th th that was a joke. It, that isn't Christian, but it does look like Christian. Like, I was wondering, unbelievably yeah. so. Apart from the weird tongue thing going, I'm not really too sure what's going on there. But if you're watching Christian, uh, I hope he took that, um, you know, with a pinch of salt and whatever. It's only a joke. Um, I love you, man. I love you. Um, anyway. So that was that was Christian, but Chris, Chris, how are you doing, my Hello. friend? How are you doing, my Hello. friend? Uh, I'm good, thank you very much. Thank you very much for inviting me. I've clearly got some uh, very big boots to fill. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be doing anything with that tongue uh, on the stream. So, uh, yeah. Uh, wow. Thank you very much for having me. Um, really looking forward to tonight, and uh, I can only echo what Nick was saying. John um, really enjoyed last night's live stream. Thank it's you, a thank you. really good format for getting the list out there for how the bracket was going to break down. I really enjoyed it. Good work. Thank you very much. Yeah, Nick, are you okay now? <laughs> I think I'm all right. I can't get to start the thing, man. 
<laughs> right, let me just um, let me just share the bracket very quick because uh, this is the thing that we're going to be using uh, obviously as, as as we go through. So let me just see if I can um, present, share my screen, uh, window, Chrome tab. That's what I want. So can everyone see that? Is that on there? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, and yeah. also what I need to do is I need to go to YouTube myself because um, that's the only way I can run a poll if I'm like a... Um, if I'm watching... Hang on. What's going on here? If I'm watching the stream. Okay. You're back with us, Nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, get out of there. Sorry to go silent. I know you hate when we go silent, but I'm waiting with pins and needles on these technical workarounds. Sorry about this. I'm just listening to bloody ads. <gasps> That's it. There we go. And then I need to... Uh, mute that okay right so there we go oh hang on that was lucky the my laptop was about to die i didn't have the power on right so i'm all over the place tonight sorry folks uh right okay so there is the bracket i'm gonna zoom I'm, you know obviously it's quite small on the screen now i'm gonna zoom in to obviously when we when we go through um and i just want to say a big thank you also to um to Greedo the Rodian for becoming a member earlier on in the chat. And I also want to say a big thank you to Toby Kettling as well for becoming a member earlier of the channel. Really appreciate that, folks. And let's just have a quick say hello to the chat, see who we've got in the chat before we go on. Uh, we've got GA. We've got Justin Welch. We've got Rare Object. HK47 Resurrected. Uh, Guiders Gaming. Diego Sandoval. Matt Drace. We have Mr. Daniel Chart. Uh, we have Cisco Deer, Delvian Seek, Gary Moore, Des T, uh, the real Adam Berry, Stuart Holt, uh, Neen Num, or just Neen, Nine, um, a long part of the along and along and a long time ago, guys. Uh, travel and more with Jason. Who else have we got here? Jason. This is Weekway. <laughs> that's a cool name. SWVC TVC here. I don't know if that's you, John, or it's probably Tyler. Tyler. It's probably Tyler, yeah. Uh, it's Toys Tyler. of the Way. We've got Larry Hines. We've got uh, Riley Bob, Trace Green, Matthew Brazier. Oh, there's so many people. That, oh, and I've left it too long to go through everybody. I've not otherwise. I saw Lewis here. as well. I'll say hi to Lewis. Lewis is there. Ja Gerard. Uh, we've got. Uh, is that Christian Banthus? Chris is here. If Ponkrell advance even one round, I'm turning this off. <laughs> <laughs> if it does, there's a fix on me, isn't it? Let's <laughs> let's uh, let, let's get that out of the way. Uh, we've got Feel the Force, Toshi Station, Armless Walrus, Jedi Ronin. I do apologize if I haven't brought up your comment. Um, Jonathan Redmond, Justin Riley, Chief Chirper, Matthew Brazier, uh, Lil Pookie. Nick Wood, Carl, Carl King, sorry. Andre Hacheng, how you doing, buddy? Uh, Travels with Jason has become a member as well. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Uh, Nick's here, of course. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Wyvern, James Andrews, True tr Trooper Wolf, V, Sandcrawler, Trevor Ritchie. Uh, and there we go. Right. So um, let me just, so this is the bracket, guys. Everybody knows the bracket that's watching this. Everybody's seen the bracket. I hope everyone's seen the matchups and what have you. And we're going to be using this to go through the bracket, voting for our figures that we want to go through. And then um, if there's a tie, as I mentioned before, you guys in the audience will be, will be uh, voting via a poll that I'll put up in the chat. So before we do that, John, is there anything you else you want to tell the guys watching about March Madness before we start? 
Sure. Yeah. So just to reiterate for anyone who didn't watch the 18 hour stream yesterday, um, people always ask, you know, how did these characters get on the bracket? Who decided who got on the bracket? Well, you guys did. Everyone watching, everyone who submitted a list. Uh, there was 1,218 list submissions this year, usable lists, uh, consisting of 29,509 individual entries. So and over about 2,200 different characters or outfits of those characters. Um, so we asked for those every January. Uh, you had you know mentions and videos on your streams everybody got the word out on articles and websites and everything um, and everybody submitted their list throughout january throughout february i, I crunched the numbers we crunched the numbers at swtvc and um yeah that's how and then the ranking is based on points because the points are based on the ranking of the list and it's a whole thing um and you had asked chris and the lowest number the number 64 got 1521 points from 114 lists and the top rated character got 7428 points on 504 lists so that's how we build it um, and then the numbers are decided uh, the number one character goes against the number 64 character number two goes against 63 it works its way towards the middle uh, which you will be seeing here today and it's all unofficial it's all not related to hasbro doesn't mean they're actually going to make any of these characters um, but we know that the the team does watch this sort of thing and last figure standing and other polls. So it's good to make your voice heard uh, in any way that we can and tell Hasbro what you want to see. So, yeah, there you go. That's my spiel. Yeah. And obviously, number one being versus against number 64 would suggest <clears throat> rises to the top. The seeds might go through. But in previous years, yeah. it's always been the top seed that's won, right? Right. And those are called upsets in this. Yeah. Um, not, not that it makes me upset or anybody upset, uh, you know, emotionally, but it might, you know, uh, there's yeah, a lot where of the underdog wins. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> and it may just awesome. happen. And then, uh, yeah. And as you said, okay. voting will have voting uh, will start on Wednesday and we'll have more information about that soon. So, yes. yeah. Sorry, Chris. Yeah, I was just going to say, I think it's great to see the, obviously even to get the the final space on the bracket there, you got to get over a thousand points mm -hmm. from all of those lists. So and, it clearly shows it's been whittled down quite a lot just to get say, to, to this. And there were some that barely missed it. Like Finn uh, was only two points less than the Indoor Rebel Commando. So Whew. if someone had... <laughs> <laughs> We're already getting a Finn. Don't need another one. Uh, 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 yeah, well, we're going to get to this, aren't we, uh, John? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, yeah. Okay, anyone else want to comment anything about the format or anything about the bracket in general? Chris, uh, Nick, before we before we start? Nope. Nope. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. Bring it, on. Bring it on. So we're going to start on the left-hand side. So I'm just going to zoom this in like, like so. Hopefully this will work. Is that working for everybody? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So let's do this. Okay, so we have in the first matchup Balen Skull versus the Endor Rebel Commando. And what I do each time on this as well, Indeed. guys, is that I mix and match who I ask first, so not to influence the the output of it. Um, and you know, sometimes people might one person might have the deciding vote or whatever, and other times they won't, other times it'll be a draw and what have you. But on this occasion. We're going to go straight to Nick, only one Kenobi. Who yeah, do you want to go through? Midway, obviously, Bale and Skull. This was just my opinion as well. Just very quickly about this Rebel Commando. I think it's a wasted vote. People vote for things like that because it's already out there. You've got a, an example of it. It can always be updated. So, But anyway, obviously, it's interesting to see people have voted for that. But no, definitely Bale on goes through for me. You know what I mean? Give us a full okay. pack of them. That would be great, Hasbro. <laughs> Chris? Uh, well, to completely counter Nick's point there, um, I thought Balin was good in the Ahsoka series, but I wasn't a huge fan of the series as a whole. So I'd rather mm -hmm. be getting the Endor Rebel Commando that we got, wow. updating that Kenner 96 figure. So I'm afraid it's the Rebel Commando for me. Something we've already had. <laughs> John? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's started already. Oh, the new Christian. This guy's good. He's just like Christian, man. <laughs> I'm with I'm with you I'm with you Nick the uh, you know the hips on that Rebel Commando aren't amazing but the hips on our Balin are even worse because they don't exist so I got to go for Balin. <laughs> That's okay, nice so it's down it's down nice it's down to me. Um, now 
as much as I would love the Rebel Commando, I absolutely would. I think it should have come out last year, and I feel mm-hmm. I don't think it's yeah. So now, so now I'm in the realm of like I've just I'm just gonna have to live with the one I've got. And also, Balin is on my bracket. He was on in place number twenty three. The Rebel Commando didn't make it, so I have to go with with my top twenty five. So Balin goes through. Now, last time I wrote little things here, which was really annoying, but this time <laughs> John has kindly provided yes. everybody with um, these awesome little name pills. And if oh, I go down great. to the bottom here, How about we that? can just click on that like that. Oh, oh God. Wow. Oh, oh, yeah. Huge. Wow. He wins it. <laughs> <laughs> but once they're all on, it'll make it easier because I can just move it along. Sure. There we go. Mm-hmm. Bail and Skull. Cool. Right. Next up, we've got Mon Mothma Coruscant um, versus Frog Lady. So I'm going to go to John to start with this time. Yeah. And I'll clarify this is her Andor version, the white one that we saw in uh, the Black Series as well. Um, love Mon Mothma. Love that we're getting so much uh, content from her. But Frog Lady has been on my list every year. So I got a I gotta hashtag fight for Frog Lady here. Nick? Really tough one. Love, I'd prefer him on Mothma on Return of the Jedi, but I did love Andor Load, so I'd love that to happen. But Frog, frog Lady, you don't have any Frog Lady, so I've got to go with that. You know what I mean? There's no frog, two lady. For frog Lady, yeah. Chris, um, Frog Lady was on my bracket last year, um, and I've got nothing to go with those ice spiders at the moment, so. Frog Lady be the one to go through Ooh, to the uh, nice. next one for me. I like like Mon Mothma. I like Andor, um, but yeah, Frog Lady for me. I'm afraid. Okay, well, she goes through no man. A ship as well, a little shuttle thing. That'd be nice. That little car thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Frog Lady will go through no matter what I do because three of you have voted for her. Um, I did have Mon Mothma on my bracket on my top twenty five in fifteenth place, but I had the Return of the Jedi version one. Had I had a vote on this, I probably still would have gone for Mon Mothma, I think. But you guys have voted three to one there. So let me just. Uh, oh, God, where is it going to be in this there? <laughs> Come Frog on, Lady. Tim. You've got to be. Uh... <laughs> it's not live television, Tim. <laughs> I think I've put. Oh, I've done that twice now as well. So, well, it's like when he's talking to Simon Denton or whatever. Don't, don't, don't panic. Click on the blue bird, social. <laughs> the thing is, Nick, <laughs> um, loads of people might know what you're talking about, they have but no a load idea. of them will not. I do. You I do. I do, which is the important which is the important thing. You, yeah. You know what I mean. That's more important. Here we go. Look, this one. Oh wow. Look at this one. Dedra Miro versus Garen Dan. Now I've got two horses in this race, so I'm gonna go first. Oh, wow. I have Dedra Miro at number 25 on mine, but I have Garandan as number one. Wow. And that doesn't mean that I want him over any other figure. It's just I wanted him on the bracket, so I gave him the most points. So I'm going to come to Chris. Oh, this this is a tough one because I can I can see all of the, the different characters you can get from a Dedra Miro sculpt. And so what that unlocks, I think, is that's, that's really that does make a big difference, but I really want to Garandan for the Cantina. I know and Cantina adjacent, so it's Garandan going through for me. Get in there, Chris. <laughs> um, John. Well, before you boot me from the stream, I'll say it's been fun, but uh, I gotta go for Dedra Miro. I'm sorry, because yeah. again, we have we have a pretty good Garandan. I know it would be awesome in Vintage Collection, but we don't have any Dedra Miro, so. That's my pick. I, I agree with John, Tim, that the, the existing Garandan, the only thing wrong with it is his cloak, his cape is just a bit rubbish. Yeah. And, but there's no, apart from Juno Eclipse, there's no offices of that nature. So I'm going to, I thought I was going to go Garandan, but I'm going to go Dedra, man. <laughs> Complicated. So it's over Okay, so we are going to a poll, first of all, for the first, first time. Um, so here we go. Start a poll. We are going to put. <clears throat> Do we get a vote or not? Let me see. <laughs> that all came down to what we have and don't. Well, what I have and don't have loose. That man. It's all down to that. Right, hang on. 
nothing for her, but got something for him. Yeah. But I love the OT and everything, so I've gone against my own ethos. I'm starting the poll. To be honest, Nick, I'm actually disgusted with you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I, I want to go to against your favourite, Tim. I, don't know, maybe. <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm invited back again at some point. So, uh... <laughs> oh, 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 really, look, look, Garen Dan's at 59%. <laughs> so we'll give it, we'll give it one, one more second. <laughs> <laughs> No, we'll give it a bit. We'll give it a little bit. So hopefully everyone that's watching can vote in 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 the poll. If not, I do apologise. Some people have some difficulties with various devices and, and what have you. But <clears throat> Daniel Chart says, "Give your head a wobble, Nick." I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel Daniel Chart, I'm wearing, I am wearing a New Hope shirt for you, Daniel Chart, today. So don't yell at me too much when I pick uh, something else. Chris Swansky says, Garen Dan will never get made without a fan push. Dead Ramiro needs no push. Mm, that's very true. I think I'm going to end the poll because it hasn't changed. And it was 57% with Garen Dan or Garen Dan, however anyone would like to say that. So I'm just going to, if, if it's okay, 58% now. So if it's okay with you guys, I'm, I'm going to put him through. That's fine by um, me. <laughs> <laughs> Over the first hurdle, get in there, my son. <laughs> I actually can't believe I did what I just did because I've got Garen down on my bloody list here. Well, there you go. You should be going by your list. What are you doing? What just are you goes doing? To anything can happen on these yeah. streams, man. Because it it, it's easy to make your list, but then you, when, once you get the choice of this or yeah, that, exactly. sometimes right, it changes. Yeah. It does. It does. Exactly it does. Right. Okay, on to the next one because we're going to speed through them. Uh, it's Crosshair versus Omega. Or Omega, oh God. however you want to say it. Um, Nick probably doesn't care, but we'll go to John. Oh no, we'll go to Nick. We'll go to Nick to start with. <laughs> I do care, man. I'm just getting through season two of Bad Batch. Crosshair, oh. though. Crosshair. Okay. I'm not, my name is Daniel Chart. I'm not anti animation, man. <laughs> uh, Chris, I do apologise. Uh, um, I think given that we've only got one of them so far. I think I'd rather complete the Bad Batch as a, a unit first, then get Omega to add to them. So for me, it's Crosshair going through after those two. And John? Yep, completely agree. Got to go Crosshair first. And I'm doing Crosshairs, going for Crosshair as well. So that means that's a clean sweep. That's the first clean sweep. We all agree on Mr. Crosshair. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll say oh, another thing that we like to say about this is it's not which one you only want one you might want both but it's which one you want first which one you want to you know show most show yeah. more support for right now oh, you might only want one but yeah I do I only want one <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not really bothered about an Amiga figure if I'm pretty honest but you know if I had the crew then obviously yeah absolutely should yeah, she needs to be made after that, but until we get the whole crew. Yeah. Um, right, next one. Snowtrooper versus Maroc. I'm going to go first on this one, if you don't mind. I've got the Snowtrooper on my uh, top 25. He's number seven in my list. Um, the Imperial Stormtrooper Hoth Battle Gear, a.k.a. the Snowtrooper. Yeah. Um, and it's that's not the only reason. Maroc, or whatever his name is, they needed to do something better with that character. Him turning yeah. into a ball of, a, 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 you know, a, a ball of dust or whatever it was, just was pretty lame in my opinion. He needed to be something, you know, somebody or something under the under the armor. Uh, so that was a really big disappointment for me. So Snow Trooper for me, uh, John. Well, I'll say to that point, in Empire Strikes Back, the snowtroopers just kind of trip over boxes and get shot in the chest. So I think Merrick having a couple of lightsaber duels is a little bit cooler than that. Maybe, maybe. So I'm going to go for Merrick. Because again, I have no Merrick, but I have an, an okay snowtrooper. On a vintage card, no less. But yeah. Chris? Um, again, Ahsoka didn't really speak to me. Um, so the snowtrooper, I think, would be the one that goes through. I could do with an update to that excessively wide stance that he yeah. that they have at the moment. Yeah, um, it's for Tauntaun writing. It's a deleted scene we never saw. <laughs> okay, that's you're going for this. 
Yes, uh, yeah, it's no trooper. Imperial Stormtrooper Hoff Battle Gear. That's the one. Yeah. Nick. Yeah, there's a lot of people I know is going bonkers for Maroc yesterday. And I'm just glad he didn't turn into someone like Starkiller. Because there was all that talk mm. as well. I didn't want that to happen. But no, I'm not voting for him. I'm <laughs> I'm gonna vote for the st the snow trooper man for sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's he was see. a bit weird, wasn't he? All there was like all that hype about him, and then he just <laughs> he was gone. Nothing. Well, that's the that's a bad guy tradition in Star Wars. He'll be back, well, you know. No, oh, yeah. Recreate. Okay. <clears throat> that was uh, th three Conjure. to one on that particular on that particular vote. Uh, moving swiftly on to the second sister Inquisitor versus Kira, and I was watching the stream last night, Nick. And when this when they brought up this picture, did you say who? Because you don't really play the games, do you? Yeah, no, I do know who she is, but yeah, yeah I know really, you know who she is. Because I'm not, she does look cool, but I'm not really into this. The, the one in Clone Wars, whatever she is, what's that sister? Rebels, the like seventh, seventh sister, yeah. Yeah. Seventh sister, yeah. Wasn't really a fan of her either. Really. <clears throat> All right, then. So, Nick, who are you going for? Well, what was the other one again? Kira. Kira. Who's Kira again? Remind me. <laughs> oh, you mean Solo. Solo. Oh, yeah. You've got, to have, <laughs> you've got to have her with the uh, red tape. Yes, man. Yes. yes. That's the and one Kessel. as well, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Chris? Um, I, I haven't played enough of the games to have a strong enough connection to, uh, to the second sister. Looks very cool. Um, I'm yeah. sure would make some great dioramas with Cal Kestis and what have you. Uh, but Kira, yeah, we need a far better articulated Kira than we've got at the moment. Um, sorry, uh, sorry, Christian, I'm afraid 5 POA is not okay. We do need a super articulated Kira. Uh, in the line, is Christian in the chat? Is he? No, just he uh, just oh, taking, uh, uh, take, trying to fill his boots. Um, <laughs> so. John, so five POA is not okay, but zero POA is even worse. So I got to go for second sister Inquisitor. <laughs> touche, touche. <laughs> so ne neither of these are on my top twenty-five because. Uh, you can only get 25. I know it shocks people. You can only get 25 in your own personal list. <laughs> um, so it's diff this one's a difficult one for me because I do want both of those. I do like the second sister, but I think I'm going to have to go with Kira because nice. I do like the solo film and mm -hmm. sh she's definitely needed because we've got, we've got Lando and we've got uh, Han. So we need her. Um, so what does that do for the score? So who, who went with what there? Sorry. Kira. Kira. I went right, second so, sister, yeah. So 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 three what three one to Kira, yeah. Okay. Right. I'm just gonna My team can yell at me later, but you know <laughs> they they're big second sister supporters. Yeah, there's quite a lot of fans of the second sister I noticed last yeah. night, man. Yeah. I mean, if I'd seen the cutscenes or something or played the game, I probably would have been all over it. But she's, yeah, she's a good character in that game. Mm. Just I'm haven't got around game. to even watching the cutscenes of Fallen Order or yeah. Survivor or anything. Ooh. Um, on to the next one, then. We're going to go Dry Dryden Voss versus Chancellor Palpatine, uh, the Jedi Arrest one. So, oh, yeah, tough. yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I thought this one would be a tough one for you, Nick, because I do know you want you want Dryden Voss quite badly, don't you? So, but we're going to come to you in a second. Yeah. We're going to go. Oh, yeah. We're going to go to John first of all. <laughs> uh, yeah, again, the the Palpatine is so old and outdated, and not wasn't great at the time. But again, don't have a Dryden Voss, um, so I, I got to hashtag do it for Dryden. He was on my list. He was Lewis's number twenty one, number one. Sorry. Um, okay. Got to put him through. Chris. Uh. I've got to go for Dryden as well. He was my number two pick, um, the highest one that actually made it through uh, for me. So, yeah, Dryden uh, for me. I, I still don't understand how, what are we, how far out from Solo are we? Five years now? 18, five years. Six years, years almost. Yeah. Six years. Six years. <laughs> and we still don't have the bad guy from that film in any any form 3.75 scale. But he is coming out in the retro collection. No, fake news. <laughs> <laughs> that would be just typical, wouldn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. 
<laughs> in a full wave with every solo character anybody's ever wanted. <sighs> hello, hello. I was just waving to Q Mighty here saying he's late. Um, so that's uh where are we up to? Who needs to vote on this one? Uh Me. Nick. Yeah, Dryden Boss is on my list, number 12 on my list here. Yeah, definitely. That's enough said. So three for Dryden Voss. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter what I do, but just I, I, I probably would have gone for Dryden, I think. I, I would like that Ch Chancellor Palpatine, though. He would be a cool figure. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, but no, I think Dryden's possibly, yeah, I'd go for Dryden. So. Of all the Palpatines in the prequels, that's the one that's a weird figure. It's got the lightsaber attached to the hand and stuff like that. But it's yeah. a lovely, lovely scene, isn't it, as well? It's like, he has, yeah. like, action feature feet. Like, you push down yeah. on his feet, and he yeah. plays the lightsaber around. It's kind of strange. but It's like the worst of all those um, political Palpatines, isn't it? Those like, yeah. pepper pot types. Oh, now this. This might be tough for some people. We're going to go. Yeah. I, I think this might be a tough one for on the in the real, you know, when the real voting happens. Mm -hmm. So it's Ben Obi Wan Kenobi from A New Hope versus Two One B Medical Droid. Oh my god! And I, I'll go first if you don't mind this time. Uh, I've got Ben Obi Wan Kenobi as number six on my top twenty-five. I don't have Two One B. Doesn't mean I don't want that figure. I, I would, I would like that figure, but. It's Ben Kenobi for me all the way. And we yeah. will now go to Nick. Yeah, well, if it came to a contest, which it, it has done, <laughs> I'm in a situation where I've got to choose between the both. And I, I, I've i got to have the Ben Kenobi blue sky war, um, lightsaber card back before I ever get a 2-1-B in my life, man. You know what I mean? And that figure as well, the ultimate figure yet to be made. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. Agree. Chris, it's a shame. I love 2-1-B, man. Um, I'm not trying to uh, get on the wrong side of Nick, but uh, I'd have to go. No, with not at all. One B. Um, no, no, no. I just said, man, I, I, I'd love to vote for two one B. Yeah, yeah. Bring I think, it on. I think the 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 legacy collection one is decent, and with the head of the last Jedi one, there's the makings of a good Obi Wan Kenobi there. Yes, we absolutely need him on that Kenner card back. But the two one B that we have is just it's nineteen ninety seven. Is it mm -hmm. a sculpt from back yep. then? Power of Force. Yeah, it's yeah. it's yeah. way too old. That needs proper updating. Um, mm. and two one B was number thirteen on my list. So yeah, definitely Very needs good. fair play. Fair play, John. Yeah, uh, love Obi Wan. A new version would be great, but two one B has always been one of my favorite like secondary background weirdo droids. So hey, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, you said that last night, John. That makes it to yeah, all, which yeah. is great yeah. because right. yeah, yeah. Th yeah. Th this is one of those contests which, uh, as I said, you know, it'll be very interesting to see what happens in the real, you know, when you put the real voting out for this one. This is the first matchup that's gonna. I well, can I just say, Tim? Yeah. Can I just say, yeah. if they were bringing out Kenobi on that shit, sh uh, rubbishy, I nearly said something rude there. <laughs> you swear on my channel, but not, I don't on yours. <laughs> that yellow lightsaber card back, I'd be voting for 2 1 B in a, in a second, you know, in a flash, man. You know what I mean? But I think that's, that that's, that's, the that's first a great card, point, though, Nick. You can get both of them out. There's absolutely reason you couldn't put out both card backs, and we'd happily buy up a ton of them. Hmm. And I, I know we've had the yellow one before, but I, th I think we th it's still that initial run. So if you're doing it in TBC, well, maybe you, it's, there's, there's scope for that. You could I've started the poll. <clears throat> I've started the poll. Everybody's in the chat. Here it is. He has an Empire Strikes Back card, Return of the Jedi card. You could do, you know, Ahsoka. Maybe not for you, but you can do Clone Wars. You can do 2 1 B. You can do. Like 50 different cards. So, you know, he wins by yeah. that metric if you want. <laughs> My uh, poll, Tim, is working this time. I think it's because I was cast into TV last time. That's why it was dodgy. Yeah, yeah it won't work, anyway. yeah. work on the TV. Got My phone on the side here. It's working all right. Yeah. Well, the first the first votes put Ben Kenobi up above 75%. <clears throat> he's dropping slowly wow. now. But he's, oh, he's going up a bit again. 66% Ben Kenobi at the moment. We'll leave it a, a minute or well, 30, 30 more seconds. Uh, just to see if, you know, 
if it changes any 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 more it doesn't look like it's going to be it looks like it's hovering take quite a while to evacuate the t-47 <laughs> <Too careful. laughs> yeah we need luke in that uh the snow speeder outfit without any of the extra gear on there oh the yeah thing. john yeah some of these back in the day when hasbro would make the when han had his coat open for five seconds they made a figure of that you know I used, to, I used to love that. As a kid, I used to think, wow, it's Luke without his chest plate. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Such a thing that happens in the film. Yeah. Maybe get that guy me. with the ice cream maker, like, yeah. like yeah. orange. That's true. <laughs> so he's got a bit of a belly, hasn't he, that guy? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Luke after a full meal or something. But uh, <laughs> that's why I had to go on those rations on Jacob. Bob. Yeah. <laughs> well, the little um, pepperoni things on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh right then guys i'm going to end the poll it's 67 percent now for ben kenobi ben, ben, old ben goes through um question in the chat about my uh when are we getting my new room tour um man i've just got a bit more to do in here that's all <clears throat> it shouldn't be too long it shouldn't be too much longer i know it's be taken way longer than it should be um, we put in the chat you put 21b or not 21b very good. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Brilliant. Very good. Um, right. So let's put mm -hmm. let's put uh, Ben through. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Tonica sister. Which one? The last figure standing. Mm -hmm. versus the Jedi Temple Guard, who in its own right is also a very, very, very cool figure that would be made. Uh, let's go to John. So you might expect me to say Jedi Temple Guard, but I have a 5 POA version of him. Uh, needs a new version, needs an articulated version, a version that's not $100 on the secondary market, but Tanaka's <clears throat> sister doesn't have a version at all, so it is time for Tanaka, in my opinion. And you are quite consistent with that, Jonas. I just what I do yeah. like about you, you, my thank friend. Thank you, thank yeah. you. <laughs> um, Chris, um, oh, I think a, a Jedi Temple Guard would be very cool. Um, certainly, with all the bells and whistles, the articulation, and everything. But those Tonica sisters, they they won the last big standing for a reason. We absolutely need them in the line, hundred percent. They were my number three. They absolutely need to go far in this competition. Good enough reasons. Nick? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Tonica sisters. And John, if you've got a 5 POA of the Temple Guard, congratulations, man. Yeah, How did you, know. you Thank you. manage that? <laughs> As I said last night, it was 25 even back in the, like a month after it came out. Like it was already crazy expensive, like immediately. And now it's way worse. So wow. I don't know. Amazing. I don't know why. But yeah. Okay. And Tonica's a number 16 on my top 25 Jedi Temple Guard, even though I would like that, uh, is not. So the Tonicas are going through. You, I asked all three of you there, didn't I? Sorry, I lose track yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Uh, sweep. Clean sweep on that one, yeah. That's the second second clean sweep. As Daniel Chart says in the comments, we could have a gin and Tonica if you put her with gin or so. That'd be, you know... Just solely for that picture to exist, we got to get the Tanakas in the line. Or a Qui Gon. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, on to the next one then. We've got the Emperor Palpatine, Sith Eternal. Not really sure what that is. Um, versus <laughs> the Attack. Stop, 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 stop. You don't even need to read the next person. I, I, it, it, will, it will beat the Palpatine. <laughs> at that driver nick this is number one on your on your list right what, what, what was it i was too, on too your busy. top 25 that's that driver. yeah he is number one on my list yeah yeah so you can yeah i'll i'll vote for him as well now <laughs> let's go to john to see where his priorities well. really lie <laughs> Again, I think the I think the legacy ATAT -AT driver. I'm gonna say ATAT -AT because it's an all-terrain armored transport. It's not, you know, but uh, that one's pretty good. I don't hate it. So you know, a card back would be nice, but I gotta go with 
Papa Palpatine Sith. It's Chief. not as good as that five POA, John, is it? In the Rebels. That's true. That was actually yeah. a pretty good sculpt. I know. I can't say best. nice things about. Yeah. Can't say nice things about the five POA. You need to mix I... both or whatever to yeah, but yeah. Yeah, for sure. So a new sculpt would be great, um, but you know. I'm going to come to Chris in a second. I'm going to go. Oh, this one's a tough one. Um, <laughs> um, Attack Driver's number nine on my list. Um, Sith Eternal, whoever you, that is, uh, is nowhere near my list. So <laughs> not to offend anyone in the chat that likes sequel trilogy, of course. We've all got our own opinions. You know, don't shoot me. I mean, um, but yeah. I'm going for the Attack Driver. So it's to Chris. Okay, uh, I mean, somehow he actually made the bracket and halfway <laughs> up the bracket as well. I don't know quite how that happened. No, I'm I'm easily going for the asset driver to go through on this one, I'm afraid. Very sorry. <laughs> Even like my teammate Tyler, he hates that movie, but Palpatine is always very near the top of his list. Yeah, so, no, that, is, that is a fair comment. It is, yeah. Still um, the main villain overall, you know, a version we don't have of him. But he's out, so no. you know, <laughs> in the unofficial live stream version of the bracket. It's just yeah, the story just doesn't make any sense. Otherwise, I'd love to embrace it all, man. You know, that's why there's going to be you know 16 seasons of TV to explain it. <laughs> the Bad Batch is doing. I don't its part think right even now. that will help, John. Man, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I think the Clone Wars helped some people contextualize the prequels a little better maybe they're doing that the movies should make sense in and of themselves but you know it's fun to get like the... they have different faults though really didn't they it was more like you know i don't know man don't know. It's, a yeah, it's, it's one of them isn't it i think like people didn't wake up one day and, and and i think shabby says this a lot people didn't wake up one day and said I, I really want to hate star wars today i want to go to this movie and i really want to hate it and i don't hate it it's a you know yeah. it's a, quite a strong word that isn't it it's I just not like up it's so just not my cup of tea. It didn't really hit home that the sequel trilogy, or our, you know, the Force Awakens was, you know, yeah. we've talked about this a thousand times, but yeah, you know, and 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 when it, you know, when it comes to like my figure preferences, I'm, you know, I can understand Tyler's point of view, but for me, it'd be just a waste on my collection to, for for any, you know, for any figure from um, those last two films, personally. But <clears throat> that's just my opinion. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Yeah, yeah. He did look amazing, you know, when his eyes were glowing and he got all his strength back or whatever. It was kind of, I still got that pull, you know, seeing Palpatine back as normal, you know. You just need Ian McDiarmid chewing up the scenery and, you know, that's a good time at the movies, even if it doesn't make any logical sense. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, I, I, uh, I've said before, I'm not the biggest fan of The Last Jedi, but I think Rise of the Skywalker tried to course correct too much, almost. And by trying to fit all of that into the one film, that's where you ended up with what you did. And uh, yeah, sorry, not for me. I don't think I had a chance, did it really, after the second film? No, exactly. It's virtually impossible to. I, I love The Last Jedi, and you can boot me off of that one. So, you know. <laughs> I might I'm have not, to. Not, not huge. <laughs> I, I'll say I'm not huge on Rise of Skywalker either, but you know. Remember, Tim, Just it what was, was it movie. about the uh, last Jedi that you like? No, we're not going to get into that, John. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do a, we'll do a bracket one next day. month about all the movies, and we'll discuss it then. Maybe we should have a live stream one day where we just all just vent and we get it out know, or support. You know, uh, sequel you know? trilogy group therapy. I think we all need it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, John, I, you know, you're welcome to come on the stream anytime. Talk about how much you like the last Jedi. I'll probably be out of the room at that that point getting a drink. <laughs> then I'll come back. Just kidding, mate. <laughs> just kidding good, right so attack driver goes through we're on to the next one uh we are now on to oh two tubes versus the imperial armored commando so just let me get this right the imperial armored commando is the white dudes yeah <clears throat> from mando season three uh yeah, yeah they, they look like yeah uh gideon's guys they look like the super commandos from rebels are they mandalorians are they wearing beskar armor i'm not really sure but they're they're the guys that fight at the end of mando season three Oh god, it's amazing we haven't got those. It's just crazy. Yeah. I mean, maybe they didn't see them and all that lot. Yeah, but... yeah, because I think, like I said, John Favreau loves to keep every single story thing so close to the chest. Like with Ahsoka, with Dave Filoni, he kind of understands that. Yes, you can show the licensors at least pictures of the costumes in advance, whereas John Favreau is like, no, I can't even show anything. 
So you can't even be getting Book of Boba Fett figures, you know, two years after the show aired. But yeah. anyway, that's my that's my spiel on that. Who are you going for, John? Uh, so as Q Mighty said, we do we have a two tubes, <clears throat> but there's only one of the two tubes. Um, and uh, thick. We have Edrio, not Benthic. Um, uh, so I'll say, you know, Imperial Armored Commando seems like a shoe in I'll show some support for the other two tubes to get made. We, we have one, we need the other one. So I'll say two tubes. Nice. Chris? Uh, interesting. Um, that's not where I was expecting you to go with that one, John. I've got to be honest. <laughs> um, the I think the Imperial Armored Commando looks incredibly cool. But like John says, it is a shoe in if Hasbro yeah. are not haven't got that on our doorsteps almost immediately, that is wasting money. So I'd rather push for two tubes to go through and uh, show a bit of love there. Well, if six inch got him, I don't even really know. No, they don't <laughs> no. know. No. Right, no. right. It's amazing, amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, is it me, Tim? Sorry. I'll you, go to you. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll sorry, go. I'm jumping in before you even introduce me. I know that. You know, they I mean they looked incredibly cool, but I, d I just thought I got a little bit of like trooper fatigue in a way, even though they look amazing and everything. And they were in the very end and then they're gone. A bit like the Sith troopers in Rise of Skywalker. They looked great, but they were nothing. It was just <laughs> they were there and then when they were gone. So yeah, I'm um, two tubes, 100%. But hopefully, Benthic first. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting you say that about troopers because it's actually amazing how many different types of troopers we've got. I know that you know that's what sells toys, but I know they haven't though, they haven't even made them. I can't believe that. I mean, I no. thought that's why they were on the show. Though. Oh my, here we go. Someone's had a word, but... make some new troopers that look great. <laughs> but it doesn't matter what I vote here because it's already three, so he's going through. But I do have two tubes on my list at number 14 because for anyone that cares, my list can. can uh, contained figures that are going to complete scenes for me. So there's quite a lot of Rogue mm. One on there. Figures that I just feel need a desperate update, uh, like the Make the Mains. And then figures that I just feel were just, I'm just absolutely astounded that they weren't given to us, like, um, you know, uh, Balin and things like that. So yeah, yeah. two tubes is on the list, number on my top 25. Number 14, the Imperial Armored Commando, although he is cool, he is not. Um, and I'm like you, I feel if they don't make that figure, then there's something seriously, seriously wrong. So two tubes for me as well. That's another, that's the third clean sweep. Um, and here he goes with the nice blue name pill. Mm. It was cool that bit with Luther and Ryle when they were sort of arguing a bit. He said, two tubes told me. Oh, yeah. I'll do his voice. But you know what I mean? It was brilliant. And, and like, it's great know, that he's been in, he's, he's, he's in... One or either of them have been in three things now, right? Yeah, solo yeah. and or in. Yeah. yeah, one of them was in Rebels too. Um, yeah, the fact that there's a scene where accomplished actors Stellan Skarsgård and Forrest Whitaker are having a debate whether a guy named freaking Two Tubes is a traitor or not. That's just <laughs> the, it's the beauty of Star Wars, right there. Really? Oh, I love that. I love that show, man. I was yep. so hooked on that. Yep. Mm, yeah. Okay um we are nearly down on the at the, the end of the uh left side of the bracket uh you could call it the west west side mm -hmm. <laughs> um so wrecker versus the clone trooper no sorry clone commando so that's the mm -hmm. big heavy duty guys from yeah. um bad batch right yeah and the republic commando video game Rep and, yeah they're in battlefront and all kinds of things the white, yeah they're, the they're all white commando, yeah that yep. visor, that really teal colored thing. Yeah. That, yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to go first on this one, if you don't mind. Um, I don't have either of them on my top 25. If I was to pick between the two, it would have to be the clone commando because I think they look amazing. You could make other figures out of them. Um, and you could army build them. I'd get more out of it. And as much as I do like, I do like the Bad Batch, don't get me wrong. Um, but when I watch the Bad Batch, I like the things that are happening around the team rather than the team <laughs> themselves. But that's just me. That's just me. Um, so I'm going for the Clone Commando. We'll, we'll go on to Nick next. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of Wrecker, but somebody said something earlier which re resonated with me. Get that crew done, you know, scandalous that we aren't even taking 
big steps to get that happening. Only got Hunter. Clone Commando, love the look of him and valid points there, Tim. But also the bit of clone fatigue as well. I know it's a different type of helmet, but I've had a lot of stuff like that. So, yeah, Wrecker for me. You're going for Wrecker. Okay, so Wrecker, it's one all. It's 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 one all. Uh, We were up to 316 people watching, by the way, which is awesome. So if everyone's watching, hit the like button while you're here. Um, We're now down to 301. So maybe That's people right. like me talking badly about the bad future. Right. I don't know. Uh, but uh, it's one all <laughs> between the two. So we'll move on to John. Uh, definitely got to go a wrecker on this one. Because, again, I have older clone commandos. Um, I know there's a lot of support, uh, at least on Instagram, for a new one. But I really want to finish the Bad Batch crew already. So yeah. got to go wrecker. Fine. And, That's he, two he was, one. and he was pretty high on my list, too. Number five. Okay. Number five. Chris, um, I think for me, before I start really pushing for them to complete the Bad Batch crew, I need to see Hasbro actually get another one out there. Um, for me, this is one of the few Black Series figures I've got. I know a lot of people don't like him, but the Clone Commandos just look so cool. And what yeah. they could do with a new sculpt um, in terms of um, going into TBC you would get Scorch from the Bad Batch. You'd get the rest of the Republic you know it, Chris. You'd you know get it. all of the all of the dark suited ones, all the ones from Battlefront. You're I preaching to the choir. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's so much scope for that figure. But I need Hasbro to show more. I need Hasbro to release another Bad Batch main character to really get behind completing that crew. At the moment, just having Hunter, it's not enough. So yeah, I, I would worry if they gave us Wrecker and they're like, okay, where's the others? How long, how exactly. long is it going to take you to get me those other ones? I do want to ask, since you since you brought up that Black Series figure, that one is just based on Hunter. It's just Hunter's body with a different head. Are you okay with that? Or do you do you think it needs to be bulkier or anything? I know there's a lot should, of... Should be bulkier um, to be have more of a feel of the actual Republic Commandos from the game. Um, I know there's, like I said, there's a lot of complaints about the Black Series ones that they are just um, yeah. that Hunter body reused. Mm-hmm. Uh, it still poses very nicely, as does the the hunters and whatever. But yeah, ideally, all new sculpts for for the clone commando on that one. Cool. And also over here um, in the UK, one or two of them, the other members of the is it what's his name, boss or something like that. Yeah. Um, they were like Zaffy exclusives, and they were like extortionate amount of money for a repaint, like unbelievable, over right. thirty pound. I think they were. It's crazy. Yeah. So you can understand why people uh, get annoyed with that. Um, so we have a tie, right? That is a tie. So we're gonna we're gonna go to um, we're gonna go to the poll. We're gonna go to the chat. So let's start a poll. Um, so clone commando. Versus Wrecker. I've got a feeling I know what's going to happen here, but you never know. Let's have a look. Let's go. Start the poll. Because in the submissions, Wrecker is all the way up at 13. Clone Commando is at 52. So, But there's a lot of support for the Clone Commando. Um, I saw a couple of questions, if I can respond Start real quick. Wrecker. Um, uh, you, you go ahead. While the poll is running, sure. you can say what you like, John. You go for it, mate. Some, Last Jedi is a great movie. Um, but uh, just kidding. <laughs> don't, don't, give me, don't give me too much rope. Um <laughs> Somebody asked, about the, somebody asked about the patrol trooper that from Solo, which was that was down at 141. Um, so not quite enough support to make the bracket. And then somebody asked about the pill colors. These are all from uh, the cards that I make on Instagram usually. But like the clone commando, he's blue because he's got the blue in his visor. Wrecker is orange this year because he's got orange on his season two armor. So I kind of try to go with what Hasbro might do. These are all, you know, the colors are all picked by me. And then if there's too much red on one part of the bracket, I'll say, okay, maybe this should be green or something but uh not the most exciting but yeah i just kind of see what looks good and matches the character or matches the kinner uh older version of the uh, character card so there you go wrecker is t- uh currently winning um at 62 cents this is one of those ones that it's like yeah um like ben kenobi versus 2 one <clears throat> where they're like the same category or like wrecker versus clone commando the same the same fans are going to want both probably yeah so that's true it's hard to 
Oh, and Q Mighty saying Pike Soldier was at. Uh, let's see. Kino Loy was 67, right under Finn and Greedo, and then Pike Soldier was 70. So just barely missed. My name bracket. is Kino Loy. Wrecker's <laughs> 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 um, taken this at 63%, I think. Yeah. I can stop the yeah. poll on that. Um, right, let's, let's, uh, let's get Mr. Wrecker in there. And you know, I'm, as I've said before, like I, you know, I voted against Wrecker there, but it doesn't mean I don't want Wrecker. I just think, mm -hmm. which one is your own personal priority at the moment? Yeah, yeah, and it's and, you know, the, the Hunter figure is such a good figure. I've said this so many times. The Hunter figure is so good; it just seems a bit of a waste. Like, because at the moment, for me, it's doing nothing. I want it to be with something else. Yep. But to be with something else, it's got to be with all of them. It can't just be with one and then another two years, another, and then another two years, another. It's too long. I don't have that much. Uh, I don't know. You know, I, I end up not caring as much as I did at the time, sort of thing. So, mm -hmm. and that's that's half the problem. They need to get these things out in a, time, in a timely manner. Uh, right, let's move on. Let's move on. We are moving on to Asajj Ventress versus Dash Rendar. Wow. This will be a tough one. This will be a tough one. This is tough. Uh, go on, Nick. You go. Oh, man. You, you, ah, that's like the 10th time tonight you've done that. The, the ones I need more time, man. You go, right, Nick, we'll start with you. Yeah. Yeah, this is really hard, man. I'm going to have to go with Dash Rendar, though, because figure-wise, we're going. it boils down to that, man. We only have that Power of the Force 2 example, and I'd love to see a really piping hot Rendar done properly. I'm yeah. Ventress. Well, I've got this issue of I really want her to be in some kind of live action so we can get a definitive knowledge of what she looks like. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I know uh, he's not in live action, but I don't know. It's different for him in a way. I don't know. Chris? <clears throat> um, I actually think the Asajj Ventress figures from the Clone Wars and some of the other ones that we've got still work fairly well. Yeah, they're not perfect by a long shot. Yes, we could do with an update, definitely, but they're okay. Whereas Beefcake Dash Rendar really, really needs an update. Um, and and Shadows of the Empire was such a great game, such fond memories of that on the N64. That, yeah, I'd love to uh to get a, a proper update to Dash Rendar. Um, so yes, Dash Rendar for me to go through. Fair play. Um, before John answers, yeah. I'm going to go against that. So then it makes it a bit more exciting for John's answer because um, I'm going to go Asajj Ventress. Um, I, 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 I don't get me wrong. I, I would like a Dash figure, but I think that's the, it's like what else would I have that would go with it? Like you know, they'd have to make other stuff. So. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Sarge because I, I need I, I need her basically in, in the line. So I'm gonna go with her. Chris, you're about to tear into me then. What were you about to say? Well we've we've already got a fair bit. Like from Legacy with collection, we've got a a Shizor and a layer. We've got a Boosh layer to go with it as well. There's Darth Vader's, we've got a plenty of. You're absolutely right. We could do with other characters like Guri, um Lebo. Yeah, the Outrider could do with a massive update. Um, mm. But I do ta I take your point. I take your point. Those would be needed as well, but there are still some that we could pose with. I, I, I'll take your point that we do have that, but in terms of TVC, that logo would be out on its own, wouldn't it, yeah. at the moment, yeah. right? Yeah, so, but fair. don't get me wrong. I, I think it's a cool I – know, I know a lot of people that watch my channel, they often ask me about that. They want that. There, there is a demand for that figure, without a doubt. But out of those two, the one that I that would do more for my collection at the moment is is Ventress. So, John? Uh, yeah, I agree with what everybody said in some form or fashion. However, uh, Dash Rendar sucks and has always sucked. So I got to go for Asajj Ventress. <laughs> wow. <laughs> don't, don't don't hold back there john <laughs> just kidding i really i never played i never played the game back in the day but he always struck me as like han solo's carbonite yeah fake he's fake han solo and i never <laughs> yeah, thought that was I know cool what you mean. 
and he's like a nineties, a nineties edition of what would be cool at the time, and it's yeah. not cool thirty years later, in my opinion. So, yeah, <laughs> ships. You didn't though. love those shoulder pads then, no? Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. are they doing? They absorb a lot of blaster fire or something? I don't know. Imagine like You're... Snake skin looking kind of character, like yeah, to play him, couldn't you? Really? You, you are upsetting yeah. and surprising a lot of people in the chat there, John. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. They based him on, actually, isn't it? They probably based him on uh, Kurt Russell or whatever he's called. Is that right, Kurt So Russell? that 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 means this one is going to go to the ch chat, doesn't it? Because that's two all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's do this because this will, be this will be interesting. Uh, as you're setting that up, I saw some people asking uh, which Ventress this is. Uh, I condensed the votes, just her generic kind of season one through three Clone Wars Sith <clears> apprentice <throat> look. Uh, I didn't include the votes for her Bad Batch or Dark Disciple or Bounty Hunter look um, or some other ones. But, you know, again, good way to show support for Ventress if you want her or any version of Dash. I'm sure Dash had some great costume changes that were memorable and iconic, but I can't think of them at the time. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> can always count on the mustache to rile people up. <laughs> it's going to cause a riot. <laughs> and we're back up to 314 people in the chat. Thank you, guys. So that... Uh, Maybe they've come back for you, John, and comments like Yeah, they're here in the... Uh, Keep it up. The anti-Dash Rendar crowd has uh, shown up, finally. Let's see people asking. Somebody asked, where was Scion, the Skiff Guard? He was number 293. And some of these might change if I, uh, you know, go through and clean it up a little bit more. Where was... Who was asking? Sorry, which skiff, sorry I didn't hear that. Which Skiff Guard, sorry? His name is Scion this year. He used to be unidentified mercenary pilot. He's the one that Luke kicks in the face from two feet away. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, we talked about him last night, didn't we? Yeah, but he, he got a name in a, in a book this past year. That's right, yeah. Do, does he actually kick him in the face? Yeah. He, yeah. Force kick. I don't know. Far away, but the guy's just, he's just like anticipating it. He's just so scared. Yeah, force kick, as people say. But yeah. uh, And Radis was at uh, 130. Radis. Okay. Um, Ventress is on 68%. I don't think it's going to move too much more from there. I'm going to give it 10 more seconds and then we'll move on. Oh, Cliff, this is a good point. Cliff Oliveira said, where was IG-12? That's, uh, so IG, let me just get this. Yeah. Is IG-12 the one with, with Baby Yoda in the middle or is yes. IG-12 the no. first, first no. one up? That's, no. That's back as IG-11, no. yeah. isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Right? When he, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when he yeah he's ig12 when he has grogu or the anzelan guy inside and when he's uh the marshal he's just ig11 marshal edition but since this he was at 142 ish but since we like to focus on all new um figures uh i think you know a lot of people probably assume, we can assume <laughs> that either of those will use some or all of the existing ig11 tooling <clears throat> so you know try to keep it focused on all new but a lot of people still ask for repaints yeah or whatever. sure sure uh, i just want to bring up this comment here from it's too much of a long story to get into now but the the long and short of it is that i was absolutely robbed on um uh, oh, yeah. on stew's on stew's quiz night um because you don't I'm, not gonna get into it it, I'm not gonna get into it because it's too upsetting to be honest yes. um <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna look at the results 69 percent for venture she wins this one she's going through i'm gonna end that poll um that's not going to change anytime soon so let's let's find there she is brilliant oh nice nice dark blue yeah name pill there matching some of her skirt from the first few seasons people are asking about more characters we will we will release a, a list of more characters later on we're trying to focus on these 64 for now but um yeah right then yeah right then mr john mustache yes. uh, here we go here we go Sweet we are up against <laughs> we we have Simalu, the Imperial Dignitary. He's on my list. Who has never been made since the Kenner line or or an updated yep. or new a new Bosque. Now yep. um somebody in the chat said that I should vote on this one first for obvious Go reasons. Ahead. Go ahead. Um now let me just be clear on this. I really do want Simalu in 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 the vintage collection, it needs to be done 100 percent but this is also the first year that I've ever had Bosk on my top 25 because I just think it's time. When I'm looking at my top 25, I do not have Similu on there. And it is a bit, yeah, come and think of it. 
maybe he should have been on there, but he's not. So I do have to go with Bosk. <laughs> um, and that's not just to annoy you, John, because I, no, I know, I know, I know. John, you always have Mr. Similu as number one on your top 25 until he is made. Yep. So is he, are you voting for him? Now? I got to go. I got to go for him. You know, Sim's on my top 25, but Bosk is on my desk. He's in my barge. He already exists. As you've, you have said in the past, this figure is not terrible. It could obviously be better nowadays, and it could lead to, as we said last night, it could lead to Cantina Spacers and Boshek and all that, all this sort of stuff, and Trandoshan Bounty Hunters of every stripe. But, um, yeah, the, the boss we have is not the worst thing in the world. So I would I would love a Similu. Awesome. As, as a sign to you know finish all of the 96, I want to finish the 96. I want to make the mains. I want all the crazy stuff from the new media and old media and every background character that ever existed but you know i think it is important for them to finally update similu in the line yeah yeah as chris says though boss does unlock cantina dude which is spaceman i guess and um Boshek as well so uh yeah let's see cantina spaceman was 481 so i think there's a little bit more support for similu at number 21 <laughs> just saying just these are the numbers I have. These are the numbers I have. I'm just saying, just saying. <laughs> um, Chris. I think I know um, who Chris is going to vote for here. You see, every time Bosk has come out, like even the, the Power of the Force version, the when they did it again in Saga, and and the, the one that you've got on your desk there, every time it's been like one of the best figures to come out at that time. Amazing mm -hmm. sculpting, like great articulation. At that time, so I'm I'm really excited to see what the next iteration of Bosk will look like. But, but. the only Imperial dignitary we have is a <laughs> paint rug nosed five POA figure. Yeah. So yeah. we need Similu. I'm afraid. Okay, Nick. Yeah, I've got a TVSC Bosk on my wall, Tim. I've got a decent Bosk figure loose in my collection. Give me a reason why I would vote for Bosk now. When there's a yeah. bigger vacuum called it, Sweet Similu. <laughs> when he's up against Similu, I've got, I, yeah. I've, it's tough, isn't it, man? I, I feel I've very just, satisfied in my life, man. But it's, uh, yeah, that dignitary needed. Yeah. He goes th through three to one. And I'm not disappointed about that because I do, Bosk is a great, the, the figure that we have is a great figure. There's no yeah. two ways about it. But I, I, would, I, would, I would, I would like them to do a new one, Hasbro, if you're listening. Yeah. Um, and a new IG. Um, 88 as well. Yeah. Um, we but the yeah. as the guys have said, we do not have Similu at all apart from in the kennel line over there. So Similu goes through, which is good. <laughs> uh, we are going to move on. We've got two more matches up, two more matchups on the left hand side of the bracket. Then we're going to go on to the right side of the bracket. So let's go with. Moff Gideon, Dark Trooper. So is that just him in his metal armor, yeah? Yeah, from the end yeah. of season three, yep. Um, versus Qui-Gon Jinn. And we'll go to Nick. Yeah, I thought that was another character when he appeared at the end. I thought, oh, here we go. Just to make another figure. Or, but they, it hasn't happened yet. But who, who are we against? Is it Moff Gideon versus who, sorry? Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon Jinn, yeah. And, uh, he needs updating, but... He exists, right, in TVC. So, yeah, Moff Gideon, I think. <laughs> yeah, he did look good, though, didn't he, man? Plus, every other figure for Gideon's rubbish, isn't it, man? Do you know what I mean? I'm not happy with any of them. So, that, anyway, that's not enough. Yeah. John? <laughs> enough for me. Uh, yeah, we could definitely use a new Qui-Gon, but uh, I could use any uh, Dark Trooper Moff Gideon. So I got to go. Got to gotta go for Gideon. Chris? Oh, it's a tough one. Um, you're right, we don't have that Moff Gideon, but the best Qui-Gon Jinn that we've got has kind of got um, hair that makes it look like floppy Muppet ears. <laughs> um, He's got a very long uh, neck as well, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, th I think we, at some point we're going to get that Moff Gideon and... There's, there's no way he's actually dead or not a clone of something in the... Uh, spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen season three, by the way. Um, <laughs> at that point, there's no way that he's not coming back and we'll get some version of that at some point from Hasbro. So I think calling for a new Qui-Gon that would give us a 
false ghost Qui-Gon at some point as well, uh, well articulated, that looks like Liam Neeson, um, would be what I'd be looking for. I know they do the ball joint and the hips probably, but surely it's just the head that needs changing of that. And I think I think these existing characters like the Rebel Commando, they're a waste of a slot, man. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. We do need it. We need a new Jedi body. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, to be honest, the what the the Obi Wan from that two pack's pretty good, but that his 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 yep. tunic or whatever might differ from whatever. But I don't know. There's quite a few Jedi's dressed like Qui Gon, isn't there? That you could use. Mm. I, I think we need it. I think we. That's just my opinion. But are you are you voting um, Moff Gideon? Uh, Qui Gon for me. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Qui Gon. Qui Gon for me. And Nick. I was going Gideon. You're going Gideon. So it's at the moment it's two one, right? Mm -hmm. um, this is difficult for me now because. Do you know what? I, I'm not even sure if I actually like that Gideon at the end there. They're trying to make him sound a bit like Vader and stuff. I don't know. It just didn't. I'm not sure if it really hit home with me that. Um, Qui-Gon, we do already have him. I'm not going to. I'm going to sit on the fence by putting it to the chat, I think, <laughs> because, I, I, you know. I could I could live with both of them in the line, but it's not really that massive for me either one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put it to I'm gonna put a poll, get some um, interaction from the chat, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take it to them. So uh, we're gonna go Moff Gideon in his Vader armor. <laughs> no. I don't think Tyler was that impressed with your response there, yeah. Tim. <laughs> Um, and I'm just going to put gin because I, I can't spell it all. <laughs> it's just it's too much, too much pain to try and do that on my, um, uh, what, uh, what did, what, what did he say? What did Tyler say? This yes, one loves what, what, what? <laughs> send it to the polls, Tim. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, sorry, Tyler, mate, but Tyler's always a, he's, he's gravitated towards the dark side. So, you know, Chris <laughs> says at this point, by the time Hasbro makes the armored Gideon, the community will be completely over Mando season three. Yeah, there's that we, as well. I think we already are. Just kidding. It wasn't, <laughs> um, my, it wasn't my favorite season. No. It wasn't. No, it wasn't. It's like the office you see in the UK. You should quit yeah. while you're ahead. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two seasons um it's sometimes enough I, ho and so, I, hope, I hope gideon's not a clone because he keeps coming back at the end of every season for the last two episodes and it's oh my god he's back and then he immediately is dispatched or and defeated and it's like well okay yeah know. gideon is my number one one oh, okay sorry tyler mate i did like the last few episodes though i thought those were pretty fun yeah um, Qui Gon is, is taking this at sixty two percent. Sorry, Tyler, mate. Um, I could have put Gideon three for you, but sorry, man. Sixty two percent. Qui Gon wins. He's going through. Um, with that nice, that's, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> be great to nail that like a definitive face for him too wouldn't it man mm -hmm. yeah it's your former that, master nick that last one was really iffy that head sculpt i actually have him facing away on my shelf i, I hate the face so much <laughs> facing a droid the car you know what i mean so you can't see his face yeah right so this one is anakin skywalker in his jedi knights that's episode three anakin right yep mm -hmm. And versus Padme Amidala from the Geonosis battle, who I said on your stream yesterday that we already got, and then people were saying, oh, but you can't sit on a reek, on a reek or whatever it's called. Yeah. I still think that figure's fine, but that's just my opinion. Um, we'll, 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 go to, we'll go to John on this one. Who are you going for? So, sorry, Padme, I don't want to break your heart any more than it already is, but I got to go for Anakin. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, Chris? Uh, 
it was funny that that the what you raised yesterday in the stream about the reek. Yeah, that did. I, I hadn't considered that. No, um, but um, but yeah, the the Anakin Skywalker. I don't think the ones we've got particularly look like Hayden Christensen no. at the moment. So an update to that one would be much better for me. Nick. Yeah, likewise, you know, for all the Anakins we have, none of them are really, apart from my favourite legacy concept art, Anakin, look like him. So, yeah, get him definitively done. Yeah, clean sweep for me. I've got to say, guys, uh, and this isn't a criticism, please don't take it as that, but, you know, I know I know you want, like, to get, like, you know, this is about all new sculpts, and I think I think that Padme is, 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 I think, I personally think it's good enough. I know, yeah, it could sit on a reek or whatever, but... I think as far as like yeah. all the other figures that we need out there, I don't oh, think yeah. that one is that high up yeah. on the agenda, you know? I think if they had um, done it with photo reel, like maybe two or three years ago, it would have been fine. But I think, yeah. you know, the standards keep raising every year. So yeah. I don't and know that goddamn orange car black series as well. It should technically already be in TVC. Yeah. yeah. And her, her joints and that... her arms don't match the color of her skin and stuff like that. It's just kind of, yeah. there's a lot of little issues with it, but uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, personally hate a photo reel repack of that one but maybe that's just me i mean considering the other sort of repacks we've had <laughs> that wouldn't yeah. be like you know that bad really um Not the worst offender by a long shot no exactly anakin skywalker jedi knight goes through yeah he definitely i mean i know what's he vc 13 is it but he definitely yeah. needs and someone brought up a great idea for a two-pack on one of my um videos you know, you could have them like all the scorched versions. If they gave us a new Obi Wan as well, you know, mm -hmm. that'd be flipping awesome. Um, yep. In one of those two pack formats. All right, so we're on to the other side of the bracket now. We are going to go straight in. Um, we are on to man. Is this even a contest? <laughs> Luke Skywalker yeah. versus Luke Gunray. Now you know. <laughs> New gun rate, fair enough, but come on. John, who are you voting yeah, for? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, again, Luke is on my shirt. So, you know, I love Luke. Nothing against Luke, but we do not have an episode three version of Newt Gunray. They made one and two. We have all these other separatists in the scene. We have, you know, a crappy old Anakin, but uh, we don't have an episode three Newt Gunray, so I will vote for him. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nick, Nick, would you like to comment on that, or just just want to go straight <laughs> to who you? I do have a comment on that, Tim. Wipe out Viceroy Gadry, <laughs> the other separatist leaders. Yes, <laughs> I have to say before I don't vote for him, I I was interested by the fact that it was uh the Re Revenge of the Sith, Nuke Gunray, which I was like, wow, of course, because I always imagined the Nuke Gunray would be Phantom Menace for some reason, but uh, yeah, me too. Yeah, when you first see him and stuff, definitely Luke Skywalker, and that's it. <laughs> Sorry, John. Uh, easiest Thanks. match of the uh, of the entire bracket, Luke Skywalker. Not for John, it wasn't. I was going to say, yeah, it was easy for me, but yeah. <laughs> you're going with Luke Skywalker. I'm going Luke Skywalker. Yeah. That's three for Luke Skywalker. Of course, it's Luke Skywalker. We need that new farm boy, Luke, so so badly. Um, it's not even funny anymore. And I know we got the card back in some other, you know, where the trilogy collection or whatever, but we don't have it in TVC. Yeah. And to have 350, whatever it is, numbers in TVC and Luke Skywalker farm boy, not to be one of those numbers is just kind insane. Of, kind of wacky. Yeah. So come on, Hasbro, sort it out. Um, so Luke's going through. Uh, let me just, um, so where's, where are these going to be? Yeah, I it's a scandal, I'm isn't it? <laughs> it is scandalous it is i i can print out a little vc number uh sticker you guys can put on the back of your uh vintage <laughs> loop that already exists <laughs> i can't print out a i can't print out a new gunray though so you know i'm just saying doesn't really matter he's out Miko then, so. <laughs> i said hey john miko king of tv <laughs> Hey, buddy. Um, 300 and, oh, we nearly had 340 people watching. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, I like to say that every now and then because we do appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, we are now on to the next matchup. We are on to 
And we're going to start speeding it up a bit now because yeah. there's Get lots late. more rounds. And we... <laughs> so let's speed it up a bit. Right, Darth Malak versus Plo Kloon. We'll go to Chris. Um, not really a huge fan of the old Republic games and what have you. So I don't have a huge connection to Darth Malak. Plo Koon goes through for me. John? Yeah, same answer, Plo Koon. Nick? Yeah, now we've got Revan, plus that old Malek's got the swivel, so get him done. I think he's more of a priority than Plo, but I love Plo and everything. Yeah. Oh, man, we wanted to speed it up. I want Plo Kloon. Plo Koon. So we got to go We got to go Wait, with the... I think it's <laughs> it's it's three for Plo, right? That was three. Yeah. Oh, it was? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Nick. It's almost like Stu's, Stu's stream there where I'm bending the rules. <laughs> Um, or changing the rules. Yeah. I like, I, I, you know, I like, I love Plo Koon, man. So he, he, he'd be good. Right, Pelimoto versus Fozek. Um, wow. Okay. Um, oh man, this one's difficult. I'm going to go first. I do want, I do want Pelimoto in the line. But I want Fozek as well. This is difficult. I'm going Fozek. Nick? Yeah, well, is that the guy who looks like Danny John Jules? Yeah. The cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I've got to go for Peli Motto. She says more and does more than the other fella. So, yeah. Sorry. Chris? Uh, number seven on my list, Fozek. 2-1. John? Number 11 on mine is Peli Motto, so i got to go Peli. Right, that does go to the polls, right? Okay. So let's start the poll. <laughs> Fozek is pretty prominent in the uh, in the in the palace, but uh, you know, he's been, he's been waiting so long for a figure though. Nineteen eighty three since uh, but, he first showed up. Does anybody, <laughs> did anybody start asking for him in nineteen eighty three? I don't think so. He was long down the list after a lot of other more interesting characters in Jabba's palace. Now we're down to the humans. We're down to the people that. Kinder and Hasbro knew weren't not that interesting to make. Just saying, just saying. When Simalu wow. came out in 1983, yes, who exactly asked thing. for that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, I would say that's on par with Fozek. Of so of Jabba's palace, Fozek is not the most interesting. Of the dignitaries, though, in that uh, in that shallow pool, Simalu is the most interesting choice. So yeah, he's not that very shallow true. pool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, 59% Kelly. I think we're just going to – I'm going to give it 10 more seconds, 60%, 61%. It's only going up. It's only going up one way, so we're – oh, 60%. Oh, we can get an said We could get unidentified shirtless male as well yeah. out of the Pozak. <laughs> I just want a name for him first. Yeah. But uh, with Pelly Motto, we can get an action feature. If she spits out her own tooth, that could be fun, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna end the poll. Sixty-two percent for for Peli Motto. She goes through. Um, where is it on here? There we go. Oh, I can't wait when I don't have to search for these anymore, and they're just on the bracket. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What are we on? Sorry. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is the one everyone's been waiting for, isn't it? Well, they haven't really. But, uh, it's Ponkrell versus Carson <laughs> Taver. I'll go first. Carson Taver. <laughs> I'm shocked. Why is that, Tim? No, I'm just not a fan of that weird alien with the arms. And, you know, I know, I know a lot of people want him, but come on, it's so obvious he was a baddie. Like, come on, wake up, everybody. Chris? Um... I want to be invited back again next time. So uh, Carson Teva for me. You can vote yeah, for no, you. no, Carson, Carson Teva. I think uh, the sculpt opens up a lot of other potential rebel pilots as well. So uh, yeah, yeah, and he's been in a lot of things. Yes, John. All apologies. I've been waiting for Pankrell for over a decade, and he's been on my near the top of my list every time. So I gotta, I gotta <laughs> pick Paul. Nick. Which also he also unlocks Dexter Jetsters, so Ponkrell, Clone Trooper CT 5555, stand down, Trooper, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, get him done, man. I like him. Ponkrell, 
Yes, punk round, please. please. So that's two all, right? Yeah. Oh, another another poll. Here we go. Somebody asked, we do not already have a... We don't have either of these guys in any format. I think there might be a Lego Pong Corral. I don't know if there's a Lego Carson Teva, but... 5 POA doesn't count. Lego certainly does not count. No. Here we go. Starting the poll. It's be interesting. Carson Teva was really low. The last last few years. Yeah. Thingy, you mentioned potentially contacting. I haven't, mate. No, but I do. I do want to get in touch with um, JCC for getting him on a live stream at some point. One hundred percent do. I enjoy his channel. Come on, Tim. He's bloody awesome. Yeah, everyone's got their things they like and they don't, and I don't know. It's just never really. I, th I a lot of it does stem from Dexter, whatever his name is, because. <laughs> oh my god it just looks so fake didn't it and you know he's like sticking in his fingers and his bum crack and then shaking <laughs> hands of obi-wan kenobi <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like he's like that dirty new york chef or whatever and it's yeah. just i don't know it's just a uh, bit you know i don't know tim tim you of all people must understand the difference between knowledge and <laughs> wisdom <laughs> <laughs> Cloners. <laughs> Damn, good ones too. Yeah, he's great. Man. Um, right, here we go. Let's see what everyone's doing. Hello, oh, Tabers at fifty-five percent. <laughs> Booyah! Wow. wow. Um, I'm going to end it though because we we're, we're pushing for time. Um, so fifty-five percent, Carson, fifty-four percent. But I'm ending it in five seconds, guys. If you want to vote, four, three. Two, one. Carson wins it at fifty-four percent. Um, oh man, where is he on there? Oh, come on, there he is. There you go. I think I saw a comment. Are you able to move it over a little bit so people can see the numbers on the right side as well? Um, of the whole bracket, yeah. Oh no, sorry. Okay, okay. I I opened up the image too big sorry. in the first place. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. You can go look at the bracket yourself. Okay. Okay, we're up to uh, this one now. It's um, Hammerhead versus Keller and Beck. Hammerhead is number eight on my list. Keller and Beck, although. I think it'd be pretty cool is not. So I'm going hammerhead. We'll go to John. Um, uh, Keller is on my list this year. I already have a hammerhead. That's pretty good. TBC card would be great, but I got to go Keller in. Okay. Chris. Um, you got to hope with all the love that uh, I'm a best got following his appearance that he's on the cards at some point. Um, but I think we need some knees on that Mo Mornadon. Otherwise he can't even do what he does on screen. So Mo Mornod on Hammerhead for me to go through, please. 2-1, uh, Nick? I don't like the way... I like Armored Best, and he was great coming back like that. I don't like the way that we've already seen him as Armored, Armored Best as an extra in Attack of the Clones. So that always irked me, but I think I'll have to go with Hammerhead. 100%. It's the same... 3-1 <laughs> three one, uh, three one for Hammerhead. They got the same yeah. last name, so maybe they're cousins or something like that. Ah, do they know? Right, that's yeah. interesting because I thought they were going to do the whole angle of um, Quinlan Boss. You know, he was actually in that bar. Oh uh, yeah, R2 yeah, maybe. Uh, <laughs> Ahmed Beck and Keller and Beck. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, interesting. Well, wasn't the backstory with um, him and Auntie Daniels that they were uh, swindlers man. or con artists? Yeah, yeah. Yep. A well, so, yeah. couple of comics about that, I think. George, I just want to be in the film scene. That was like, I think Daniel's probably just just see my face. Yeah, come, come, see my face. Um, we're moving on swiftly. Bodie Rook versus a man, a man. Nick. Bodie Rook versus. Oh yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to go with the OT and stick with a man, a man there. Yeah, I'd love to see a man, a man come out in TVC before Bodie. <laughs> Chris. Really torn. Um, <clears throat> the five POA figure of Bodhi is pretty decent. 
Mm. Um, oh God. Uh, I'm just going to go on man of man. Have to have to six. Yeah. Two for a man of man, John. Yep. Uh, both figures that exist are okay, but a man of man does everything I need him to do, and Bodhi Rook is a little bit uh, limited, so I got to go for Bodhi. Yeah, he sure is, man. He's a bit narrow, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Bo yeah. Bodhi Rook is number 10 on my top 25 because he's part of that missing holes in the collection. Yep. A man of man, I'm just looking at my little Jabba's Palace setup here. The figure can be improved upon, and I want him on a vintage card, granted. But him just standing there, he kind of looks like he needs to be looking like he needs to look, basically. So mm. Bodhi Rook is on my list, and Bodhi is for me. So that is a draw, is it not? Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the chat. Once again, guys, it's the poll time. Let's finish 96 versus complete the Rogue One crew. So I'll, I'll definitely take both. Yeah. On this one. There we go. The poll has started, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, other. And Hom Dom in the chat. We tried moving it over and it couldn't quite work. But you can see the rankings on the on the bracket if you download it yourself. Yeah, if I attempt to do, I can do it. If I attempt to do it, though, it'll screw everything. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to mess up anything. Just, just. <laughs> That power of the Jedi, uh, Amana Man, has really served the, te you know, the test of time, hasn't it? It still looks great. That, so it's a funny vote that from myself. It's just I'm fascinated to see what they would do for TVC and how, you know, what he'd look like on the card and everything, you know. But yeah, Chief I Chair agree. Babies are more needed. Um, yeah. Chief Chep has put, "Where's the option for both, Tim?" Well, <laughs> yeah. unfortunately, guys, you are the split decision makers. You've yeah, got to, shame, you've got to do it for us. <laughs> Uh, and it's it Sorry. is close. It's fifty two percent currently for Bodhi. So if you want a man a man, you need to get your votes in quick because I'm going to end the poll. Yeah. Fifty one percent now. So wow. back up to fifty two. Swinging. swinging. So I'm going to give I'm going to give ten seconds. Well, Forty nine. From now, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Wow. Five, Come on, get your votes oh, in. Wow. Four, three, two. Oh, 50 50. Oh my God. Oh, it's 50 oh, oh my God. It's like the Rock Style by election. It's 50%. Shall we end? No, it's 51. It's 51. I've got to end it here on 51, guys. That's got to be the closest one ever. You can't get any yeah. closer than that unless it's a draw. Wow. So we're going with wow. We're going with a man a man at 51%, right? Yeah. It's nuts. I think that's for people who got, got in gear and voted there, man. To be fair, though, the Power of the Jedi line's got some cracking sculpts in it. Yep. Oh, you yeah. see, we had Tessic updated oh. this, well, last year, but, he was but the really old good. one was still decent for, for a long, longest yeah, time. Yeah, Chris, you know that that's the figure. I always think of you with that <laughs> Power of the Jedi <laughs> Tessic, man. That is your figure, that. <laughs> FX7 you know, as well. Get it. I was so happy with it, man. It was great, yeah. He's, yeah, he's a cracking figure. Cracking figure. Okay, the client versus Shasha Teal. Uh, we'll go to John. Uh, the client, simply because he's more fun to do an impression of. So, sorry, Shasa. <laughs> Chris? Um, I love Jabba's Palace, but the client is number 20 on my list. Nick? Yes. Open the pram. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's my favorite line, he says. Uh, yeah, the client, Tim, put me down as a vote for the client. It doesn't really matter what I say because it's already three votes. I would have found this one tough, actually, because um, I do want more of the Jabba's Palace aliens. Old leaf head or whatever it's called. Um, <laughs> the client, the client. Yeah, uh, we do need the client. I'll say the client for a, for yeah. a clean sweep. We Why do we don't have him already? It's that same question. Yeah. He needs to complete the Navarro Cantina. Please excuse his lack of decorum. <laughs> <laughs> Here's an interesting one. Baze Malbus versus Mara Jade. I'll go first because 
Uh, Bayes is on my list. He's number three on my list. He is high up. We, we need Bayes Malbus, in my opinion. I like Mara Jade. Do not get me wrong. But for me, it's Bayes. So we'll go to Nick next. I can guarantee that if they did Mara Jade, they wouldn't do what they, they – they wouldn't put her on an EU card back, would they? It'd probably would be love, a if they specific did, I would, thing now. Yeah, yeah I would vote for her. But, um, you know, I thought, can I just say this? I don't want to sound stupid, but I thought Baze Malbus had been pipelined. Like, or am I getting confused with the six inch line? I was like, I don't know, man. I swear to God. I don't know. I really don't oh, know what I was well, he's, already in black, he's already in black, so, isn't he? Um, yeah. yeah, I know, yeah, but I must have dreamt that. I don't know why I thought he'd been pipelined. I swear to God, I thought he had. But anyway, um, oh, man, I'm going to have to go with Baze to finish that little duo. You know, him and um, Chirrut. Chris? Uh I'm perfectly happy with that black series Mara Jade with a head swap to the for the um what's her name? Uh Vizsla. Uh, Jay Vizsla. Yeah. Yeah. It works absolutely fine. I don't need that figure again. Uh, so Bayes Malbus for me, please. John? Yeah, Bayes. Never really connected with the nineties legends, but uh I gotta go for Bayes. Let's complete that crew. Clean sweep for Bayes. What we should have, though, is we should have Mara Jade and Darth Plagueis on Expanded Universe cards already, and that's just, oh, it makes me sick. Yeah, she needs to comb her hair or put some kind of product <laughs> in there. Though, but... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Shin Hati versus Q90. John? This is hard because I do want them both, um, but I gotta, I gotta, gotta go for Shin. Nick, this is an insane and in suicidal, sir. But I have to side with the human. <laughs> <laughs> the Red Dwarf reference there. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go with Shin Hattie. Chris, uh, following up on Patrick's promise, we need Q9 to uh, pilot the Razor Crest. Mm. Uh, we've been waiting a long time, so. Number 17 for me uh, on my list, Q9. So I could take this to the polls, but I'm not. I'm, I'm going to go for Shin because she is on mine at number 24. Yeah, same here. Um, 22. Q9, a couple of years ago, I would have won that figure without a doubt. He probably was on one of my top 25 a couple of years ago, but. There's already a uh, like a Disney Parks, um, what's he called now? For Alarm that looks like Zero. He's black, kind of like a darker color than the TVC one. And I, yeah, I've got that kind of droid covered in a way. I don't know. If you're gonna have Bail on, you gotta have Shin, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Savage Opress versus C3PO. I will go first because he is on my top 25. C3PO is at number 18 on my list. Savage Opress, pretty cool, but he's not on my list. So I'm going for C3PO. We desperately need a new C3PO in, in the in the line. I could I could count maybe six or seven different scenes that I need a 3PO, and I don't have a, a decent one to go in any 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 of it. So we need a new one um nick yeah definitely i agree i've got c3po on my list here at 17 and just carbonize him and use a little bit of chrome paint yeah Hasbro, it'll be all right mm -hmm. don't, don't have to worry about vac metalizing him c3po on a new hope card though please god damn it don't do him on a just imagine they did an empire strikes back again i doubt it <laughs> imagine that would, be, that would be insane wouldn't it chris uh, just so, just for a bit of clarity, was the S Savage Press the armored version or the shirtless version? It was uh, the shirtless version got one vote from somebody, but uh, so it's the the armored version. The armored version that went through. Yeah. Okay, um, I think the one we got in the Clone Wars line was pretty good because um, we've not seen it in live action. There's nothing yeah. to really compare it to. So um, I'll push C three PO through super yeah. shiny, please, Hasbro. John. Yeah, I yeah, uh, we need a realistic Savage Press, but we I think we need a C three PO pretty badly, a good one that can be repainted and reused a lot. TC fourteen at your service. Yeah, whatever. I'm TC fourteen. I love, yeah. I love the bl the blue one from Mando season three. That's that was a great. Yeah, one. yeah, you've got the um, sort of like um, 
is it mauve and silver ones that are yep. in Ahsoka in the yes, uh, shipyards yes. as well? I love that one too. Yeah, that Lex Luthor one John, is amazing. I agree, that's a lovely droid. That. Mm -hmm. And yeah, a lot of people have asked for vac metal. Like we said yesterday, I'm not sure you know what the technological limitations are with articulation these days and everything, but a shiny one, however they can do it. I mean, I know there's a silver chrome paint on the market. They must be able to do gold as well. You know, I've done some customs with that stuff. I yeah. know it goes dull if you touch it and stuff, but I'm sure they can work around that and do something. Yeah. Okay, C3PO Ooh. goes through. Um, I, I, I We're going to try and speed up a little bit because we've been going to an hour and 40 yes. minutes already. Um, and it's still in the first round. <laughs> we're still in the first round. <laughs> Uh, but it's it's all good. It's all good. We've still got plenty of viewers, people enjoying it. So that's that's all good. Um, but I don't want to, you know, late nights and all that. So we're going to go on to the next next matchup, which is Saul Guerrero versus. Not really too sure who this guy is. <laughs> ben Solo from Exegol. Not too oh, sure. Geez, this is a quick round. Remind yeah, me. Uh, Come on, man. Saul Guerrero versus Ben Solo. Uh, Saul Guerrero is on my top 25 because he's missing from Rogue One and Andor is at number 13. The Black Series version is amazing and they peg warmed it, but we need it in TVC. Nick? Yeah, Saul Guerrero. Next. <laughs> Chris? Yeah, 14 on my list, Saul Guerrero, please. John? Uh, ben Solo, but it doesn't matter what I say. He was 17 on my list. I have a Saw Guerrero in 5 POA. Could, a new one would be awesome, but I don't have any. Well, why on earth that. would you? Oh, why would you? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> why would you want to be in it anyway? For God's sake. Making sense. The whole thing was just a farce, wasn't it? Nonsense. I don't even have a shelf for the sequels, man. Would you like to reply to that, John? Uh, we'll just move on. You do you. Enough. I'll say you do you, bro. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, okay, oh, so we're going to go oh, on. We're oh, going to move on to the next matchup, which is Tick or EV99. That was my rubbish impression of a Tick. New Zealand accent. Tick. <laughs> Tick. He, Tick. He's my least favourite of all the all of them. I'm going to go with EV. Sorry, you didn't even ask. Sorry. No, you, you go ahead, Chris. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Um. I mean, Tech is my favourite of the Bad Batch. He's the one. If I was going to have any of them, that's the one I'd want. Um, but I prefer EV99. Like I say, I need Hasbro to show me they're going to commit to Bad Batch first to, before I start championing them. John? EV99 needs an update, but Tech needs a figure, so i got to go Tech. Is that Paul? Tech being tech isn't necessarily my favourite in terms of his character, but he's I think he's probably the coolest looking like as a, from a figure point of view. Yeah, yeah um, but I want EV99 more and That'll make it 3 1. So we're going to go EV99. Um, where is EV99 on here? What color name pill? Or good orange? If you do him, though, to finish off the whole of the crew, of course. That goes without saying. Yeah. Repaint him. and But face to face with EV99, sadly, he does not win, <laughs> in my opinion. Okay. Han Solo from the New Hope versus Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Nick, but he's Han Solo, isn't he? He's not. A, he's, he's, he's. Is he? Is he a man or a woman, Tim? Come on. <laughs> what are you saying? Why are you saying it like that? You're acting up to the American audience, Tim. That's how they say it in the film. <laughs> Apart from um, once in Solo, isn't it? I think. Han Solo yeah. versus Supreme. Really? Oh my God! Yeah, Han Solo. Anyway, I've just looked at the choices again. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> right. uh, Chris, that, yeah. Han, Han, there's still a yes. chance to say Han. It sounds like Han. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, John. You know what I'm going to say. I got to go. Yeah, I know. I know. Leader. I know what you're going to say. Supreme leader is wise. I have uh, uh, eighteen thousand uh, Han solos. Uh, and great... at this part, at this point in time, I, you know, you, you're just <laughs> lost, John. <laughs> I know what you I really, have to do, but I don't know if then you truly, then you truly are lost. Yeah. Um, <laughs> My knights and I are going hunting. I'm only kidding, but I think, I think uh, it's three one anyway, wasn't it? So. Yeah. I still love that 2004 one. I know people say he's too skinny, it's skinny but, but it was yeah. it was great at the time, it and great, it you yeah. know, held up for a long time. It's definitely the best we've got, that's for sure, but. Um, okay, Echo or Kiadi Mundi 
Kiadi Mundi is on my top 25. Is he? Um, 19. So he goes through for me. Echo, other reasons, for Bad Batch reasons. Uh, John. Love Kiadi Mundi. I already have an okay version of him, but I don't have any good Bad Batch Echo. So I need Echo. Chris. Um, I think the overly heavy eyeshadow on the Kiadi Mundi figures that we've had in the past <laughs> could probably do with a bit of an update. So Kiadi for me. Okay, so that's uh, one all, isn't it? Yeah, one all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You went. Uh, did you go for Echo? Yeah. I did Echo. Yeah. You did Echo. Yeah. Uh, Nick. For me, Kiadi Mundi wins there. Yeah. Yeah. And Kiadi's on mine, which I said before. So 3 1 to Kiadi. Uh... And then if they did him. Oh, no. Uh, oh, my God. Control Z. Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought I'd messed the whole thing up then. <laughs> oh, my God. That would have yeah. been that would have been terrible. I've got the numbers on there now, though. <laughs> Can you see that? They're all out of whack a little bit, yeah. Oh, God. If you just move the whole thing again. Oh, no. So I did mess it up. Mate, you... Yeah, you're, you'll be fine. There you go. There we go. Like that? That's it. Yeah, that's there we beautiful, go. beautiful. Okay, Kiadi Mundi goes through. Okay, right. Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi Jedi Master. So this is Revenge of the Sith, mm -hmm. uh, Obi-Wan. Versus the fifth brother Inquisitor. We'll start with Nick. I think I know where he's going to go with this. Yeah, fifth brother, fifth brother should have been done. But yeah, no, Obi-Wan to go with the Anakin episode three. We're going to hopefully get. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Chris. Uh, oh. I still love the, the one we got for Revenge of the Sith line uh, of the Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um but having seen what they can do with that, what what we could get with the new Obi Wan Kenobi, I think I'd just like to see that more than a fifth brother. Mm. Okay, yeah. John, isn't it? Uh, I got to go fifth brother, and I'm going to go Obi Wan. So that's three one. Sorry, John. Sorry, right, sorry. Right. But at least we've got the fifth brother in the retro collection. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> what everybody was asking for. <laughs> God Almighty. <laughs> Painful, isn't I just, it, I just love it when they do that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Is this even a contest? Come on. Luthan Rail versus Princess Leia Organa, which is Baby Leia, Jabim yep. um, version. Luthan is number two on my top 25. I oh. have to vote for him. Leia is not on my top 25. I kind of would like that as a figure, but it's really not important to me. Uh, Luthan for me all the way. And I'm going to go to John. I want to know your opinion on this, John, because we don't have either of those, and that's often yeah. your thing. Well, Luthan is my number two this year, and I believe he was also last yeah. year. I do want a little Leia, but uh, I, I think Luthan. They're both you know, new a couple of years ago, but I, Luthan, I think, is desperately needed in the line. So i got to go Luthan. Chris? Loved Luthan in Andor, but I think he's got much more of a chance of being made into a figure because Hasbro don't seem to just trust small figures in the line. So I'll put a vote in for Little Leia. Ludicrous. Uh, okay, so it's 2 1. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that he has got a chance. They might not make him like they never did. Yeah, I don't know about that. that. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. Who are you going for, Nick? Oh, sorry. God, yeah, Luthan Ryle. Sorry. I was hoping that you were going to like talk up Andor and, you know, because I know you love the show as much as me. So, mm. anyway, that's 3 1 for Luthan, right? Let's yeah, I could do have got this. Layer and then let the chat decide, of course, but you know, no, no, no. I do love Andor too. Does that get me back in the good graces here, everybody? <laughs> she was good, the actress who, who played Leia, though, but uh, yeah. he was amazing, Luthan, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Right. Let's go back over to the other side of the bracket, and it's going to start getting interesting now. We are going to have to start speeding it up even speed more round. soon now. Oof. Let's do a speed round. Let's do a speed round. Oh, uh, 
go with Balen your Skull versus Frog Lady. Uh, Nick? Uh, Balon. Chris? Frog Lady. John? Frog Lady. Ooh. Speed round. I've got to go Balon. It's 23. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's to the poles. Let them have it, Tim. Let them have it. Yeah. Balon. Let's see how many people actually want Frog Lady. The poll has started. Go for it, chat. It would also, it would also unlock the husband as well. Not that I'm trying to plug her, yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Obviously, Balin is very much needed and I want him a lot, but. Yeah, we, 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 time is drifting away on him as well as others. Yeah. It's crazy. For the Black Series, I don't know. Don't they? <laughs> Balin's top seed, right? He is, yeah. He got way more yeah. votes and yeah. was on more lists than anybody else. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's currently at sixty-three percent. So we're going to end the poll. We're going to, we're going to end the poll right. there. It's, it's, yeah. There's no way back for. Um... Sorry. Sorry, Frog Lady. See you next frog year. Lady. See you next year, Frog Lady. <laughs> and this, Boy, this is going to be. Look how much easier this is. Wow. I did have base hey. on my uh, list. Garandan versus Crosshair. Garandan's number one on my list. He goes through for me. Nick, Garandan or Crosshair? Garandan or Crosshair? Garandan. Yeah, Garandan on that one. Yeah. Chris? Garandan for me. John? Mm, crosshair, but that's all right. Garandan's going through. Look, this is awesome. <laughs> Snowtrooper versus Kira. John? Uh, on this one, I'll go Kira because I think the Snowtrooper is fine. Nick? Uh, Kira. Over the snow trooper, sure. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually quite surprised. Uh, uh, Chris? Uh, Kira for oh, me. You've got plenty of snow troopers. You haven't got her like that. Yeah. And I'm, yeah. I'm going snow trooper. He's number seven yes, on my he's The vintage saga collection. I'm happy enough to, yeah. But Kira goes through 3 1. Dryden mm. Voss versus Bo Ben Obi Wan Kenobi. Ben Kenobi Ooh. on my list is number oh. six. So, Nick, who are you going with? Or do you want me to come back to I'm you? I'm going with Dryden Boss, man. Absolutely. Wow. Okay. Never been made. Chris? Dryden. John? Got to do it for Dryden. 3-1. Dryden goes through. This is a speed round. I'm liking it. Tonica <laughs> Sisters versus... Wow. <laughs> Tonica <laughs> Sisters versus Attack Driver. Oh, God. That is hard, man. John? I got a lot of okay Attack Drivers. I don't have any Tonica Sisters. It's time for Tonica. A very good point. Tell that to Christian from Smuggler's Canyon. He, vote, he um, votes against the Tonica sisters, man. Well, I've got to vote. I'm sorry, but the Tonicas are 16 on my list. At at driver is nine. But is this a point where I go against what order I wanted wanted them? Because you 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 kind Hard. of put ones in to get them on the bracket, don't you? Mm. Mm -hmm. And you think maybe other people will vote for Tonicas, but no, I'm gonna go with my ordering. I'm gonna go at at driver. Who else is left? Chris? Uh, Tonicas with my number three, so they've got to go through for me. So that's 2-1, Nick. Tonicas or Attack yeah, Driver? I mean, the Attack Driver is my number one, and I don't even have the Tonica sisters on my list, but I'm going with the Tonica sisters. Isn't that insane? Okay. Because they've never been made. You know what I mean? It's crazy, this competition. Yeah. 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 Two Tubes versus Wrecker. Easy for me. Two Tubes, 14 uh, on my list. John? Oh, yeah, easy. Wrecker. He was number five on mine. Chris? Uh, two tubes for me. Nick? Absolutely two tubes. Three, one, two tubes takes it. Um, Ventress versus Similu. Wow. Okay. Chris? Oh, I, I know. It's easy for me, that. It's, yeah, it's fairly easy one. Sim, Similu for me. Nick? I love Ventress. Got loads of figures of it, but Similu, 100%. And I know John's going to go Similu. That's three, yeah. and I'm going to go Similu as well. So four for Similu. Has Similu got this far in the bracket before? I know this is the unofficial bracket. No, but... he's only made it one round before, I believe. Ah. Qui-Gon versus Anakin, Jedi Knight. Anakin, for me, he's on my bracket, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's on my top 25. He's number 11. Chris? Uh, Anakin. Anakin. 100%. Uh, Nick? Uh, yeah, same. same. Anakin. 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 
Okay, it's a clean sweep for Anakin. That's going to be a hell of a matchup next one, isn't it? Ooh, well, oh, it's going to be tasty. Right, another another speed round on this side, and then we'll then we'll go a bit slower, and we can talk about them a bit more. So Luke versus Plo Koon. I've got Luke oh, as my number four. He's for me. So Nick. Yeah, hundred percent Luke on that one. No, no problems. Chris. Uh, Luke. John. Gotta go, Plo. Jesus. I had Luke on my shirt today, but Plo was on my shirt yesterday. So you know. Sorry for blasphemy. He came oh, first. <laughs> Oh, warranted uh, just dumbfounded to be honest um <laughs> <laughs> it's like whoever it's is he forest. against yeah, you, you're always going to vote uh, uh versus carson Tavor. i'm gonna go oh wow okay uh, i'm gonna go Two. carson nick yeah uh, uh yeah 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 <laughs> uh Cars, carson yeah the pilot dude yeah him yeah. Nick, uh, uh, sorry, Chris. I'm gonna go Pelly. I think okay, we've got that lovely two, one, Naboo N one. She'll fit sits, sits, sits nicely yeah. with that. And John. I gotta go Pelly. Okay, so this one does go to the chat. We have another poll, everybody. I, I didn't vote for Carson in the last one. I voted for for Krell. It's mad, isn't it? <laughs> um, these guys, these two characters are holding the Mandoverse together. They're in everything. Mm. Carson versus Pelly. Here we go, guys. The poll is starting. Because his mold would, would help get Jack Porkins as well. I think that was said last night. That's what it? I said, yeah. Carson, yeah, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Carson, Carson Porkins. Sorry, did you say that just now or last night? I said it in the I said it in the chat of yesterday. Some people said yeah. they're different. Like, they're, 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 they're similar builds enough for me. Like Carson, yeah. that, that Carson dude's a big, a fairly big guy in the tummy area, which is you know. So, mm. so yeah. I think definitely that definitely couldn't use Luke, Luke Skywalker's body for that Carson. No chance. No. No. And that Yavin pilot five pack was it? Um, absolute nightmare to get over here. Yeah, Hawkins and yeah, absolute nightmare. Tiva is not as big as Porkins. Yeah, I, don't, I know I don't he's know. not. But he's he's not as big as Porkins, but I think he'll do at this point. Like, and then there's the big dude in the Force Awakens, and also the Rise of Skywalker. Uh, not <laughs> 54 percent for carson a good enough pelly can be made from the black series 3.7 five inch rose no need for 100 percent new tooling that is true she could be yeah she's got that sort of parts of her mechanic mechanics uh whatever it is um 55 percent carson we're going to go with that we're ending the poll so carson is going through guys Okay, and we're going to go Hammerhead versus a man a man. Wow. wow. Uh, Hammerhead for me is on my 25. A man a man isn't. Nick? Yeah, Hammerhead unlocks the lots more. Yeah. Get it does, it. yeah. John? Yeah, Hammerhead. Roran Karab or whatever that Jedi is. Yeah. I, yeah, I think it is going to have to be Hammerhead for me as well. Clean sweep for Hammerhead. Yeah. Uh, the client or Baze Malbus. Baze Malbus is number three on my list. He goes through for me, uh, Nick. Yeah, because I, um, yeah, I, I don't need another Baze Malbus figure. I, I don't have it. Sorry, I don't have a client. Get yes, 100% client. Chris, I might say something funny. Uh, <laughs> clients for me, don't have one. And I've got a Navarro yeah. Kent. Yeah, yeah, same Sorry. client. Client goes through. I'm surprised at that. But Why? Know. Why though, Tim? You know, because we've got Chira. We haven't, you know. Yeah, I know I we know. Have, client, but he's like an old base. dude, isn't he? He just sits there. Oh, like Baze is like one of the main you, characters. You know, imagine him with his chain. Oh, he'd be fantastic. Yeah, Shin Hattie versus oh. C3PO. John, Shin, Chris, C3PO, Nick. Oh, Daniel Chai ain't gonna like me if I say Shin Hattie. <laughs> he really is not gonna like me. I, 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 I might, I, oh God, I might have to say Shin Hattie just to show up the Black Series people when we get a really better, a superior figure than them. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not Shin Hattie, all, right? Shin Hattie is number twenty-four on my list, but C three PO is number eighteen. So I'm sticking wow. with it, and it's going to go to the polls. Wow. 
That does go to the polls, doesn't oh, it? Oh, my shin is yeah. lower on my list. I'll do right that. Back. I'm not doing your uh, protocol, though, Tim, I'm afraid. It's going with me heart. <laughs> I was obviously... I have changed on one occasion, but on this occasion, it's got to be C3PO. We I was going to rejig more. the order of this list I've got here. I, was, I don't know. I think technically that list says speaks itself, doesn't it, really? I wrote it. Whatever came to mind first went down first. Do you know what I mean? So... Okay, the, the poll is is on. This will be an interesting one, actually. It will indeed. Obviously, it'll be made up if three people goes through, of course. It's... Daniel Charts, but the poll will vote for Shin Hattie. Oh, this no, not a democracy. <laughs> <laughs> not necessarily. They're not, though. They're not. C three PO is at fifty five percent. Will Shin Hattie be made anyway? Will C-3PO be made? Come mm. on. Like, let's work out what's going on here. Let's see. It's a tough vote, isn't it? The, it's a splitter. The chat it's a... is going with C-3PO at 54%. 53% it is going down. But but I am going to give it 10 seconds now because we are going to be up yeah. a little bit. It's going to be a permanent so, resident. 53%. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 3, 2, wow. 1. That's an upset. C3PO that? takes it and just proof as well that I can count backwards. I just, <laughs> I, I, yeah, that's amazing. That's a big upset. I voted for Shin with my oral vote. I voted for her on here as well, but I'm still very happy to see 3PO do that. To see 3PO? Speaks volumes, isn't it? It's amazing. This is a, this is a tough one now. Saw Guerrero versus EV99. John? Mm. Yeah, I, uh, it's a hard one because both have figures. Both are not that great of figures. Uh, I'll go EV99. Why not? I think the Sagarera figure is a little bit better than the EV99 figure that exists already. Chris? Uh, I'm going Saw Guerrero. He's on my list. I'm going for Saw Guerrero. He's on my list, number 13. EV99 is, is not, even though I do want an EV99. Nick, you're going to get the... Dis you're going to get the deciding vote or it goes to the polls. I really love, I love Saw Guerrero. He's not on my list and EV99 is there, but she doesn't really, I love Saw Guerrero and I loved him in Andor as well. And they could potentially do one for each. So I might actually swing and go Saw, Saw Guerrero. What do you want? I was the OT guy on that one, everybody in the chat. So you can. <laughs> <laughs> Han Solo Tatooine versus Kiadi Mundi. They are both on my list. Han is five. Uh, Kiadi is 19. I'm going with Han. Uh, Nick, yeah, I'll go with Han. Han, Han, <laughs> Chris, uh, Han for me, 3 1 or 3 0. Uh, John, I'll say Kiadi Mundi. I don't know. I, I knew it, that's why I said 3 1. Yeah. So I knew you'd go for him. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't stay on the OT for too long, could you, John? I was like, Han, Han, Han has elbows, Kiadi Money doesn't have elbows. I'll give it to the guy that needs elbows, I guess. I, Kiadi, arguably, Kiadi's figures are better than Poe Kloon, aren't they? Or Plo Coons, aren't they? You know what I mean? Well, Plo Coon has he had a 2009 figure that was a little bit pretty good. Oh, all right, but, yeah. check that out. Now, this, this is a, a, a big conundrum for me now, Obi Wan Kenobi. Jedi Master versus oh, Luthien Rail. It's no brainer. Actually, it's not. No it's not because I I just read that wrong. I was, th I was thinking of Anakin Jedi Master, which yeah, is the one is... I really want. Obi Wan yeah. Kenobi Jedi Master. Although I do want that figure, isn't on my top twenty-five. But Luthien Rail is number two, so he is my vote. John. Yeah, Luthien. Nick. He wasn't a master. Then they never granted him the rank of yeah. master, did they not, Tim? You were on this council, but we did not. I'm just reading the, the reading the name. Obi -Wan reading the name, was the name Nick. Obi Wan is a mess. Yeah, yeah. So definitely Luton Ryle. Three nil, and it's on Chris. I'm uh, not going to rock the boat here, Luton. Luton, you're my boy. Yeah. <laughs> what do I sacrifice? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> All right, we can we can slow down a little bit now because we're getting to the business end of it. And, no, it's getting um, good, Tim. Keep up the pressure. Keep up the pace, Tim. I'm sweating. Oh, you like you like the pressure? Okay. Yeah. All I right think then. Our uh, decisions. Yeah. Right, yeah. <clears throat> Balen Skull versus Garen Dan. I'm going Garen Dan. He's my number one on my list. Balen is 23. I do want Balen, but I think by the time they get round to doing Balen, I might not care as much as I do right now. And I always care about Garen Dan because I love him. 
So, <laughs> um, <laughs> so accept, though, isn't it? The one we, we already, yeah. And he will open up lots of other, well, not lots, but a few others as well that use the what the guy who plays the flute. Yeah, yeah him, <laughs> the assassin in. Uh, in yeah, we did. If we get the flute, there's one in Andor before. that lies on the floor when he's getting trampled on by the <laughs> by the funeral and that. So. If we get the flute guy before Balin Skull, I will not be super thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that, man. Oh, my yeah. God. Hasbro, if you're listening, yeah. please make the flute guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm, yeah. go I'm going I'm going. Garen, Dan, Nick. Yeah, I'm going to go with um, Balin Skull, man. I don't have any figure for him, so sorry. Chris? Uh, show Matthew. me the flute guy. Get in no. there, Chris. Oh my god. I knew I had you on for a reason. <laughs> this is bigger for Garen than great. John, I know um, who you're gonna vote um, for. I'm Whalen for Balin. Let's go with Balin. <laughs> okay. It goes to the polls. Let me get a very real quick. Um, which I, I'm pretty sure we know who's gonna win here, but yeah. it's it's fine. It's fine. This this is where reality kicks in, I'm afraid. Tim. Num yeah, number one seed versus yeah, uh, the, yeah. the Imperial Spy. Um so the poll is live guys so do your do your worst um Ooh. and it's closer than you think everybody look at that <laughs> um but it yeah it looks like it's, uh, it's, it's such a shame we he's, we 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 lost him because it just taints everything. He was so great it set up for like you know whatever else he was going to do. Yeah, it is a massive. There's no yeah. justice to that. It's just terrible. But that's what annoyed me about the sequels because they knew that they had no Carrie Fisher, and then they still killed Luke at the end of. That's what I hated about the Last Jedi: the fact that they killed Luke Skywalker, and he was like their only hope. No pun intended. Ridiculous. Yeah. I like I like that GA. Gat Rindan. Very nice. <laughs> Justin, Justin's oh, you sold me, Tim. Oh, it's not this. It's do do the do the impression again. You've got a request, Nick. No, I think, no I think they want their oh. you know. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, man, launch your weapons. I think we lost John. Which way? Oh, every, oh hang right, on. Man. There you yes. go. I didn't kick you out, John. That's your fault. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, what can you do, eh? Um. So I've completely lost where we are now. We're Balen it's the poll, wins, it's the poll isn't it? Fifty-eight percent yeah. for Balin. Um. He goes through. I've got an old 12-inch Garandan. Do you have him? I don't think I do, Trevor. No, I don't. Wow. Uh, we're going to end that poll. Balin goes through. Oh, how boring. I love that name, Trevor. I'm joking. <laughs> right. Kira versus Dryden Voss. Cool. Nick? Oh, he, yeah, it becomes easy now. Dryden Voss. Kira, I pushed her through before, but now she's got no chance. John? She beat him in the movie, but he's going to beat her now. Sorry, Dryden's got to go through. He's Chris. brilliant, Dryden boss. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Dryden. Easy. I would have gone Kira there, but you win 3-1. Hey, wait a minute. What? Hang on, what? Hang on a minute. What? what, what, what? Try again, Tim. <laughs> what? Did I'm I not sorry, ask him? Hang on a minute. Isn't Dryden boss? No, you put one, Kira man? through, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, oh, my God. Sorry, I was... I'd go mad for a minute. <laughs> sorry, that was a bit <laughs> of stew yeah. kicking in again. <laughs> um okay well, tonica uh, sisters versus two tubes wow oh ah but we have a figure for well oh my god granted. See, oh my god because two tubes we definitely uh, two tubes is number 14 on my list tonica sisters is number 16 but i am going to flip them here tonica sisters will are more important than, than two tubes it's, it's just unfortunate they're up against each other on this occasion so i'm going tonica sisters nick yeah, tonicas for myself, please. Chris, neither on the list. Uh, Tonica sisters to go through. Yeah, definitely. John? Yeah, tonicas. Sorry, tubes. Wow. 
She's she could be up. They could be up against too much mythos surrounding oh, those two yes. characters. Man. Could they be up uh, against Similu? Wow. We shall Ooh, see. I think that John, was... who would you like to go through? Similu, the Imperial Yikes. military with Yikes. the pink name pill, <laughs> or would you like Anakin Skywalker, Jedi Knight from you know things? If, if Similu hadn't been made and sold and all those discount stores out the forty years ago. And not made since then for very probably very good reason. This would make it a lot easier because I really want Anakin. But I have lots of Anakins. I have no modern Similu, so I gotta go Similu. Nick. Yeah, again, I'm I'm happy with at least one Anakin I have for Revenge of the Sith era, the concept art Anakin from the Legacy Collection. And for that reason, I'm putting Similu Similu through. <laughs> Two for Similu, Chris. Uh, you may as well start moving him now. Sim, Similu for me. Uh, oh, didn't, yeah. Much needed. Wow. Much I would needed. have gone Anakin because I desperately think we need a new Anakin and he's number 11 in my list and I haven't got Similu. But I do want Similu. Do not, do not get me wrong. I do. But he goes through anyway and he is going to mm -hmm. be up against the Tonic system in the next round. Right. Oh. Let's do this one, one quickly again and then we'll slow down for the because it's getting to the business end of it. So Luke Skywalker Tatooine versus Carson Tava. Nick? I think I'm going to vote for Carson. No, I'm not. Luke Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> Chris? Uh, I'm sorry, this isn't as quick as you wanted. Um, <laughs> it's all right. Take your time. The, uh, I'm going to have to go for Carson. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's Christian, Christian. Wow. Yeah. John? Go yeah John? I, gotta go, I gotta go Carson. You oh are kidding God. me. What the <laughs> France? I'm gonna go for Luke Skywalker. We're gonna go. I can't believe we're going to the polls for Luke Skywalker versus Carson Tabor, but I can't believe everyone is everyone is entitled to their opinions. Of course, of course. So we are gonna go, we are gonna go for this. <laughs> I mean, is there a 3.75 Mr. Miyagi? I'm sure you can swap that head and put that on like a pilot. <laughs> Luke's got it again. Oh, dear. It's just like scandalous that he's not, not being finished properly, man. Let's see how this fares, shall we? Ooh, I better vote myself. I'm gonna... oh, yeah. The poll the poll has started. Oh. And I'm not voting in the poll, by the way, if, you know, like Nick is. So. I've done a few just to be oh, able yeah. to see it. <laughs> Ooh, I've, uh, yeah, I've I've thrown in, I'm afraid. Uh, so you and can throw your extra vote in to make it even, Tim. If you bigger could be like an all complete new, uh, pop, you know, like with the with the 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 festival hat and goggles and everything, all those accessories for a complete and a poncho man. I'm trying to sell it to people here. <laughs> Ooh, poncho! Wow. Oh my god! Don't make him a deluxe loop. No way, man. On a bubble. Ross Scarborough, I appreciate your comment, buddy. He says, vote for Carson Tabor, we'll get Luke anyway. That is, that could be true. That could be true. But never assume with Hasbro, I would say. And mm. also, this isn't the official, uh, no. you know, make yeah, sure, we'll, you know, we'll if, you want, if, you, if you want Carson Tabor, then make sure you vote on the TVC. Uh, how are you doing that voting, John? Is it just Instagram? Yes and no? No, so it'll be. So the first two years were Instagram and we did Facebook as well. But uh, last year, which we'll be doing again, it'll be a Google poll and we'll give right. the link. We'll send you the link and we'll send everybody yeah. the links and they can, okay. everybody can share it. Cool. Cool. Yeah. And then after you vote, you see what everyone else did a bit like on their poll. On I don't know if that's the case. Well, we right. might, have, might have to wait till the end of the night. It'll be up for 24 hours. Yeah. Every Monday, Wednesday and uh, Friday in the month, but starting this Wednesday, we're going to give everybody a few days to fill out their own brackets either how they want it to go or how they think it's going to go. Um, yeah. And then uh, start voting on Wednesday. In my opinion, there's no better fun than doing it this way with you yeah. guys. It's cool. 60% yes. uh, Luke Skywalker takes it. Ending the poll there uh, and then. I tried. <laughs> Hammerhead versus the client. Hammerhead Ooh. is number eight on my list. The client. In my opinion, shouldn't have gone through versus Bays in the other round, so I'm going for Hammerhead. Nick? Oh, God, you always choose me, man, when I need a little bit right, of time. John, John, to John, we'll come back to you, uh, John. While Hammerhead is much cooler than a, a 
white dude just sitting there, you know, speaking as a white dude who's just sitting here. I still got to go for the client. Chris. Uh, clients on my list. Hammerhead isn't. Nick. Yeah, I just opened a really nice Warren Karab. Karab, whatever he's called. I've got a lovely Hammerhead on my shelf as well from the... I think it's the Saga, Saga collection, yeah. Yeah. And so I think I'm going to have to go with the client, you know. Nice. 3 1 for the client. I, I'm shocked he's got this far, to be honest. I am. He's overdue. He's I'm not brilliant. saying he's not, doesn't need to be made, so absolutely. Yeah, yeah. No, for he, sure. he does for need sure. to be made, yeah. Um, where am I here? C3. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. C3PO yeah. versus Saw Guerrera. Oh, no. Oh, now I want to put 3PO through. Chris. Couldn't before I was torn. Uh, Saw Guerrera for me. John. Um, I'll go see three PO this time. Nick, I feel yeah more inclined for three PO now. Getting him sorted. Okay. And leave my so I've got I've got both of these on my top twenty five. C three PO is lower than Saw Guerrera, but when they're up against each other like this, C three PO is is more important to me than yeah. Saw Guerrera. He goes through three, three one. It's funny how your mind changes like you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 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 some of these on my top 25, you know, you put them higher because you want to get them on the bracket. You want to give them more points. Yeah. And that's that's yeah. the fun part of the, the way these guys do it. Do you know what I mean? Um, which is why, I, you know, Garen Dan is not my, the figure I want the most out of anything in TVC, but he's yeah. my number one because I want him on the bracket, you know. Um, right. Han Solo Tatooine versus Le Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I know which way I'm going here. Oh my god. Han Solo, Han Solo versus Luthan Rail Nick. Yeah, I'm just thinking of I've got my VOTC on the wall. I've got like a retro next to that. Carded wise, I'm covered. Figure wise, you've got that new end or bunker one. And you know, as you said, the 2004 VOTC is still doing a great job. Even that one with the Falcon with the headsets of decent hand. Mm -hmm. I've got to go Luthan Rail, man. Absolutely. Chris. Oh, there's a lot of people saying Han in the chat. Oh, um, we just if, the line, if the line were to end today, I've got Han on a vintage card. I haven't got any version of Luthan. I'd want a Luthan. Wow, nicely uh, put there, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chris. John? Agreed. Got to have Luthan. Wow. So, that's three. so it doesn't matter what I do, does it? Mathematically. Thank, thank Matter, God matters for twice. that. <laughs> because I wouldn't have wanted it. I wouldn't have wanted to pick. And it's that is the hardest matchup for me so far. That is Luton Rail is number two in my list. Han Han is in fifth. Wouldn't there's it be great if you came with like a little wig as well and like a robe? Yeah. So you could... <laughs> there's, there's an argument for both of those. Luton Rail is the coolest Star Wars character since. Han Solo. <laughs> since, since the original Maybe. trilogy, I think he's 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 up there. Um, but yeah, I, I I'm not. Even, I, yeah, I've got to go for one of them. Just, I'm going to go. Chris will never. For, Chris from Banthas will never forgive me for this. Um, but I, I I I'm going to put Luthan through as well. Clean sweep. Nice. <laughs> I really want. To I watch. wonder if I'm he's still really watching. watching. I'm waiting for uh, Larry Hines's comments in the chat, but sorry. <sighs> Yeah, Chris has just commented in there. Yes. Uh, Victoria just joined. Well, Welcome, so. Victoria. Yeah, yeah. Hand shoots Luthan first. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chris. You know you know, I want Luthan in the line, man. Oh, oh man. Wow. Oh, Goodness. God. It's what? like age before beauty, isn't it, with this, in a way? I don't, well, wrong analogy, but... Um, Right, Sorry. okay, so we're, we are on to the, what's this, the quarterfinal? This is the Elite Eight, yeah. Yeah, okay. So Balen Skull versus Dryden Voss. Nick, who are you, who are you putting through? Well, I'm going to go Dryden Voss because I've got to make a point of the fact that he wasn't done, and that's just rudeness, isn't it, really, to forget him? So I love Balen and everything, but now we're getting to the nitty-gritty, and um, yeah, Chris? I'm going to have to go with Dryden, really. Uh, I've got to agree with Nick. Uh the solo film without a bad guy it's uh it doesn't doesn't work for me you need you need dryden in the line okay john 
Yeah, I mean, it goes back to what you've talked before about Tim a, f- a number of times where we need more villains overall in the line, and they've gotten some classic ones lately, but uh, God, I mean, Balin may actually be one of my most wanted figures, but Dryden has been one of my wanted figures for a long time, so, so Lewis, I'll Dryden. do it for Dryden. I'll do it for Dryden. Wow. Anyway, I, I'm actually quite surprised that Dryden's got this, this far through. I, I really am. I, I, you know, but it depends what the matchups are as they go through. Balin, what the poll would say on that, then. Well, I can't put it to the poll because it's I, know, I know you can't, but that's the thing. Yeah. It's just that, yeah, I, interesting. I, I, I'm going to go with my Balin is on my list, number 23. And this is what I was saying about you know the points. I, I don't feel I needed to give Balin any points, that's why he's low on my list because I knew everybody else would have him high on their list, and he was the yeah. number one seed. And he's out, though, and in this particular night, he is out to Dryden Voss. I find wow. that amazing. You know, I'm not saying I don't want Dryden Voss, but, you know, it's it's quite I've got, far back in the rearview mirror these yeah. days, isn't it? I've but, got Dryden on 12, and I've got Bale on at 21 with Shin at 22. So they were kind of a, a, like a late afterthought for myself anyway. I knew we needed them, and we do need them, but that other fella, man, was ridiculous. Okay, this one, Tonica Sisters versus Simalu. Wow. We're going to go Chris. Uh, I do want both. Um, but I think it's it's that, that fact that we haven't, we were told we could never have the Tonica Sisters for years and years and years. And I think that's kind of put a bit behind it that like want them even more to in the line. So yeah, I really want the Tonica sisters to go through and uh, do well, but see what happens in the next round. But for, hopefully for me, they go through. Nick. Wow. I mean, I was going to swing to Simalu here because I thought there's been all this nonsense with the Tonicas and all of that. But at the end of the day, I was just thinking just now, I thought if I really do want Simalu, I could get that vintage figure and put that with the other, Two, I've got those other dignitaries. I've forgotten the names, uh, but never had the tonicers and keep pushing, man, to uh, get that cantina done. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go with tonicers there, John. Sorry, John. That's fine. Uh, you know, I agree with all that, but I gotta, I gotta stick to my guns just so I can <laughs> make a decision and not be here for two more hours. You know, I'll go Similu. I gotta stick with sweet, sweet Similu. I'm gonna Sorry. go for the tonica sisters to make it three one, and I. They're on my. They're on my twenty-five. Similu is not. I, I will find. I, I will think it'll be a not boring, but it'll be a bit funny if the Tonicas end up going on to win this yeah. on our particular night, considering they won last figure standing. Um, and you know, you know, just for some variety, it would be nice if, if you know, for other characters. But the cream rises to the top, and people want what they want. So she's going through. Well, the thing is, Tim, I didn't even have them on my list. I had Similu on, but it's crazy. It's just the way it is. Mm. Now they're on the table. I'm thinking, wow, it's quite a sweet prospect. Okay. On to the other side of the bracket then. We are on to the quarterfinal on the other side. Luke Skywalker Tatooine versus The Client. Hmm. John. I was going to say, can I go first? The client. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Luke. That's why I have a hundred figures of you in that costume already. But not a definitive version. Not a definitive in the, in the vintage collection with a numbered card back. I know, I know. Every time I, every time I flip that card over and it doesn't have that number, you know, I freak out a little bit. I die inside. <laughs> If only he had that number all those years ago. <laughs> we wouldn't be here now. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, okay, Chris. Uh, I tried to get rid of him in the last round. Um, Luke's out for me. Keep the client. Wow. wow. Tried to get rid of him. How disrespectful, Chris. <laughs> that is just terrible. <laughs> Nick? Yeah, I mean, I've been voting for the client all night. But now he's met Luke. He's met his match now. So I think because of the situation of this lack of Luke Tatooine, I've got to stick with that one. So Luke, for me, 
Love the climb. I'm going Luke. Like, yeah, I, yeah, the climb the climb. But this is Luke Skywalker, man. Come on. Yeah, come on. Um, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going for Luke. We're going to take this to the polls. And I'm glad we are as well. Um, here we go. So we're going to the chat. There's 300 odd people that have got an opinion here. So the people that we're putting through isn't always the one, you know, the people that go, the, the characters that go through on aren't necessarily the ones we're picking. Sometimes it's the community, small community of 300 people, uh, but it's still a, a, ref, a point of reference. So, so who do you want? Let's do it. Luke. <laughs> nice comment from Noah R2000 there. <laughs> or the <Yeah>. client. <laughs> The best Star Wars experience you'll care to have if you embrace it and soak it up. Right. How are we getting on? I haven't looked at it. Okay. 55, 55 clients. 56. Get out and vote. It's coming it's... down for Luke a bit. No, back up now. Nah. 55, 45, it's a 10% difference always. Oh, swinging even more. I was going to say it was closer than I thought it was. HK47 has, hang on, I just want to highlight this. There has been zero consideration for new collectors or growing the line at all. So are you saying in terms of what Hasbro are doing or are you saying what, you know, what the choices we're making or are you saying what the community have got onto the bracket there? Because we can only go by what's on the bracket. Um, and I, I would argue as well that um, new figures have done pretty well in, in the TVC since it's come back. I think somebody put a, good stat out there about you know where the new, all, all the new tooling budget does go um sure we do get ot figures but they're never you know they do like a half a job on them like the scout trooper for example he's talking about Rather voting than... choices in the bracket i guess he just commented right but the way i look at it uh you know we can sit all day and say what other people want oh i think it'd be great if new collectors you know they want a Balin or new collectors want a definitive luke or this that new old whatever in the middle they need a new anakin need a new qui-gon whatever but if you actually tell people what you want and you know it's a thousand different people all telling something it's what rises to the top like you said what 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 are the things that you know everybody is kind of agree on yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, and if if I made some of these choices, I don't think Simulu is the way to bring new collectors into the line. That's not necessarily why I'm doing it. I'm voting for what I want as someone who has been doing this for you know almost 30 years. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's just where I come, and everybody comes at it from a different place, and that's great. they do because I, I, I absolutely I, yeah. I mean, I come at it as I, I have one mind on what I want, and then I have one mind on what I think also will be good for the line. If you're just thinking about mm -hmm. what you want, then that's absolutely fine. Anyone can vote for who they want that's the whole point isn't it you put at the end of the as you're saying at the end of the day when you've got enough data and enough people voting at the end of it the person that wins is ultimately what most people have voted for right it's, yeah is that how you know i know i know with this sort of thing in a knockout tournament it's the same with lost last figure standing you know the, the ones that go up against each other or whatever or that are left you know, if you're uh, an Andor fan and there's no le no Andor characters left, then you're not as sort of invested in it as much and things like that. You may not care as much or whatever. You might yeah. get voters dropping out as things get get removed. But ultimately, you know, the idea is to get a sort of cons general consensus. I think. Yeah, and and as Miko pointed out, and as we said yesterday, and as it has been said, you know, the Black Series gets the entire Rogue One crew. They get all the all the Ahsoka series villains right away. They also have definitive, you know, versions of all the original trilogy main characters. They mm -hmm. have they have a big budget enough for everything from every series, movie, new and old in between. Whereas TVC, yeah. we, we, we're at a place where we have to say, you know, I want this, I want that. And people have to, you know, let's come together and say what we want. Let's not, you know, it's fun to argue yeah, yeah, in, fun, in this fun. kind of way. So is a new collector supposed to translate into a young collector? 
Because a new oh. collector would be somebody who's been watching Star Wars for, I don't know, well, it could be 50. Yeah. And then still I think that there is an element of a generational split for sure, but mm -hmm. I don't think you know that, that you know I, I'm an I, OT main you know that's my thing, that's what I grew up on, but that doesn't stop me wanting a, a Hirods and Doula figure. No way. I want the client. Yeah. I've been voting them all night, but now it comes to head to head with someone like Luke, and that's just some, I'm just trying to right the wrong the wrongs of the past, you know, of that particular character and, and his figure history. Yeah, but I think it's interesting what you said there about. John about the black series it's funny isn't it because the black yeah. series collectors do moan as well about yeah. what's released and this that, and the other but if you look at it it's like amazing really yeah. what they have got to moan about when you put it like that definitive versions of all the main characters they get all the new characters when they come out when there's a new show mm -hmm. they've got untold clone troopers new sculpts and repaints and and all this kind of stuff they're it's actually amazing, getting... isn't it what? And they get episode one figures on the episode one anniversary instead of, yeah. you know, here's a what couple episode two. What do the Black Series collectors want that they don't have? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think, yeah. And, and yeah, I mean, obviously 3.75 has four decades of figures to choose from. Obviously, they keep getting better yeah. every year. Yeah. But there, I mean, there's, so there's a lot of character, older characters that, you know, Black Series can go back and backfill, whether it's Java's Palace characters, Cantina characters, whatever. But um, yeah, I don't know. It is a funny one, though. I do. I yeah mate yeah as you say maybe like when we get like a cantina four pack or whatever or the jabba's palace four pack or whatever yeah they're like oh I, we'd love squid head you know yeah 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 so and yeah what bums me out about that is <clears throat> we said before dryden boss was in one of those waves where it was like that was the point when black series got him where black series started getting more and more figures <laughs> that 3.75 inch uh or tvc didn't have at all and that that's what bums me out like i i have no problem with black series going back and backfilling all the figures that 3.75 has made over the last 40 years but it's when when they get newer stuff that hasbro's going to move on from in a year that tvc just won't ever get that's what bums me out so you know i don't know anyway anyway luke skywalker goes through 58 percent sorry not to keep everybody it's only 3 30 for me i know it's a little bit later for you guys so that's right. It's only half eleven. We're all right. Yeah, cool. You're all right, and you, Nick, still awake? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Chris, you're in the same time zone. Still as us. Right. Next, yeah. next one. Um, C3PO versus Luthen Rail. This just gets even more diff. You know, I just we just knocked out Han Solo for Luthen Rail, and now we're up against C3PO. Oh, I know. Who uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Nick first for this one. I'm gonna stick with Luthen, man. He's just oh, too good. Too good and not done for me to vote for 3PO. So, yeah. Chris? I think for the same reason I left Han behind, I've got to leave C3PO behind. Uh, don't have Luthan in the line. I have got a C3PO that's decent. John? Yeah, got to go Luthan. Even though C3PO might be better for new collectors and growing the line, I personally am voting for Luthan. I'm to, glad I, mean, I, I I'm glad I've left myself to last, so I don't have to decide because I I, can't, I once again just like the previous round I cannot decide between these two. It's, it's just virtually impossible for me. I need C3PO so badly in so many of my displays, and he can open up God knows how many characters. Whereas Luton Rail is kind of a one and done. I'd say you might be able to get some other character out of him, I guess, but in general, he's a guy in a long coat. Um, but it's just that character. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. So difficult, so difficult. But it it doesn't matter what I do. So and what are the stats? Him apart from the reissue, obviously, we haven't had the figure since technically 2010, have we? That protocol. C three PO. No, no, that's it, isn't it? Well, in Disney apart Park, Disney reissue. Parks did a pretty good one. Yeah, you know, five, six, seven years ago. But mm. they keep bringing out every now and then. But yeah, it's not quite TVC standards. I just feel 3PO satisfied when you open things like the Saga 2006, that one, one you know, when he's on the yeah. deity chair. They're great, aren't they, you know? and Yeah. Mm. Luthan goes through, though, no, no matter what I do. So, And Luthan's going to be up against Luke next. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Wow. So, semi-final, the first semi-final. This is how difficult it gets. I mean, this side of the bracket is easy for me. Tonica sister wins over Dryden Voss all day long because I would have got rid of Dryden as much as I like him. I would have got him rid of him a long time ago. Um, 
me personally. So Tonica's sister, it's just the fact that this is the, the matchup that is here now. And uh, for that me, was, it's just, that was almost it's like you were going to put her th them through without us having a vote then. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, that's my opinion. It's, yeah, it's yeah, on yeah. to you guys now, Nick. Oh, me first. Oh, I think I'm going to stick. I'm going to now. Yeah, I've been voting Tonicas all the way. Now I'm going to just stick with Dryden, I think, man. Oh. Yeah. Chris? Yeah. This is this is the toughest. This is my number two and number three pick from wow, okay, from my initial bracket. So, like, I'm, I'm pleased they've got this far on on this side of things. Um, oh, just while you're thinking, Chris, I'm sorry. I'll just also say, Tim, I get reiterate that I don't even have the tonicas on here. Well, I've been backing them all night, but now Dryden's the one I have on my list. So, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I think I'm going to have to stick with Dryden. He was my number two. We haven't got the main baddie from Solo, and that is that is criminal. So it's Dryden for me. Dryden is that random qualifier at Wimbledon <laughs> who somehow makes it through to the semis. This is it. Like I don't want to give Dryden any disservice, but. I am surprised that he's 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 gone through this far. If I'm honest, uh, but John, yeah, I gotta I gotta do it for Dryden. So three one and, Dryden goes through, right? Yeah, and again, maybe in the in the voting, he'll lose in the first round. We don't know. Yeah, that's that's part it's of the madness. Possible. It's part of the fun. Yeah, you were gonna, think, you, Yeah, you've already voted. Then, you said, yeah, yeah, and I, yeah. I mean, all day long for me, the tonic has beat Dryden. I do. I. I Dryden Voss is in the final of our bracket. <laughs> just, just let that sink in, right? That's that is amazing. That's incredible. I know it's a vote for both, but at least you know, you know, it's him, and it's just that one dude, and then this. I, yeah, can, I, I can almost guarantee that he that is not where he will be. No, in the real. No, the no, real no, no, no. Oh, no, you're right. He won't, won't get past be. Balin. Certainly. No, okay. No. Luke Skywalker. Versus Luthen Rail. Oh. Let's go to John. I was going to say, can I just it. get it over Luthen? Sorry. Again, love Luke. Love Luke. Love Luke. Don't yell at me in the chat. Don't have a Luthen, though, so I got to go Luthen. I don't know why I went to you first, actually, because I just knew that was going to be the answer. Anyway. <laughs> you, you tried to get Luke out of the bracket <laughs> since the first round. <laughs> I'll print, I'm, going, I'm going to the sticker print shop after this, and I'll get some number of stickers for everybody <laughs> <laughs> just so we can Blue McFly, for god's yeah. sake john <laughs> like, i love that comment there nick who are you going for tough this yeah, is well, a you tough know, you said about, yeah it is you know you said earlier about luthan you were talking about luthan against 3po you said he's a one and done whereas 3po could unlock all this blah -de blah well, you see, Luthen would be a one and done, and if they did do him, it would be um, an amazing figure, as all the figures have yeah. been recently. But you see, the thing with Luke is that he he is a one undone or not done, which is still a crime in my opinion. So I have to side with my boy, Luke. You know what I mean? I have to, sadly. I've been back in Luthen all night, but it has to stop now. And I'm I'm of that exact same opinion like even though luthan is higher up on my on my bracket uh on my top 25 because i wanted to get him on the bracket um he was number two luke was number four but when they're up against each other luke 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 trumps wow. it. it's two luke's my number two and luthan's my number 19 so there's a big <clears throat> gap between those two guys yeah but as i say look i I put Luthen at the top because I, I want that bigger that figure so bad that I, you know, he gets twenty four points from me alone, you know, for being it. Is that right? Yeah, twenty four points. Yeah. So for from me alone, just for to, to help him get on the bracket. So, uh, but I'm I'm I, he's he's got to go now against Luke. You've got um, a good comment there from one decimal to Nate. <laughs> Luke is Star Wars, which is true. I like that profile name there. Yeah. Technically, he, uh, is, already, he is already on every uh, A New Hope card 
in that upper right corner. So we do have Luke on a vintage collection card if that's what you're into. You know, <laughs> just say technicality there. Technically, you know. Are you talking about the VOTC? I'm talking about the little image in the upper right hand corner of every uh, a new hope oh, uh, right, right, right. vintage collection card. <laughs> the Hildebrand thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just making a little joke here. All right. Yeah, yeah it wasn't <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only joking, mate. Only joking. I don't know which joke of those two was the funnier. Neither, probably. Right. Neither. Um, <laughs> so, Chris. Goes through, right? oh, no, Chris, are you going to tie it or are you going to send Luke through? Uh, I'm not denying that Luke's incredibly important to get into the vintage collection. But we've got a ton of them. We do have a load of Luke's uh, and quality, a lack of Luthan. So. It's Luthan Rail for me. Put it to the vote. Putting it to the vote. I'm right. actually quite pleased about that. Yeah, actually, I want to see what yeah. this does. Um, there might be some people in the chat that just don't like Andor at all, and they're not. They don't really care. So, mm -hmm. um, where, where Luthan differs from Dryden, though, is there's more of a time gap, isn't there, for Dryden? But only oh, no, Dryden's not involved with this anymore. But I'm just saying, Luthan's quite fresh off the whatever still, so it might could could happen. We still have a season to come of Andor, so maybe. Mm. Around then, they might put some more figures out. I have no idea, but here we go. The poll is up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see who everyone votes for. <laughs> <laughs> some of these comments I will not discuss, but they are pretty funny. <laughs> did Luke win last year when we did this? Or two years ago, I think he remember. did. Yeah, he won one of the times. I think he did, which is quite amazing considering you're always on it, John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The amount of times you try to get him out of there. <laughs> Afterwards, I go and enjoy all my 87 versions of Tatooine and Luke that I already have. But <laughs> yeah, it's funny, Daniel. All the Luke's are garbage. We need the definitive one. It's a bit like the Anakin situation. There's so much garbage, isn't there? Like, well, I think then, as I said, you know, the, the new ones get better and better every year. That it makes the old ones look worse and worse by comparison. But here's, here's a classic. Yeah. Here's a classic from my buddy here. I want Luke more, but I'm voting for Luthan because I don't want him to be made. <laughs> I want him not to be made. <laughs> yeah. In other words, I think he's, what he's getting at that is, uh, you know. <laughs> fan votes are ignored. the wants the wants of the community are ignored um i think that's what he's getting at anyway uh right so what i haven't even looked at it what's going on luke is at 54 percent. we're going to give it 10 seconds from now guys if you want to vote start voting now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 Two, one. Luke takes it with 54%. See you later, Luke. Okay. Still pretty close. Wow. Right. Look at the fire. Was Didn't Dry oh. do well one of the year, Tim? I can't remember. No, he's never done well. Not really, no. <laughs> All right. So the final is Dryden Voss versus Luke Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I, How did that happen? It's like, are you trying to make a mockery out of this live stream? I don't know what's going on. Um, no, but seriously, like, you know, you guys have voted it. Chris, you're never coming on again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just kidding. So let's... Right, let's I mean, look, this is the final. And look, Space Hut, our buddy. Yeah. Dryden was number one on his list. So there is people that. Really? Oh, wow. Great stuff. So so there you go, you know. Yeah. Let's vote. Or let's vote on this. Let's vote on this final. We have been going on this live stream two hours, 45 minutes. It's been amazing, as always. We've still got over 300 people watching. So it has been fun. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna find out now who wins <laughs> our version of the 2024 March Madness bracket. It is Dryden Voss. Let me just say that again. It's Dryden Voss. 
<laughs> but, oh god! Out of out of the out of the five hundred figures that I think I would want, in... <laughs> <laughs> I'm already kidding. I'm already kidding. I'm already kidding. Oh, right. It's that plucky and, and, underdog story that you've got to root for. Yeah, <laughs> out of and, nowhere. And there's oh. people in there saying about villains, and I've always been a massive advocate for villains in the vintage collection. I've made videos about it, lack of villains, and you know they they have improved that. Granted, Dryden Voss, Voss is a, the main villain from the show, from the film. So, uh, but saying that, he's against Luke Skywalker, Tatooine. So where are we going to go with this, John? Wow, it's such an interesting thing. You got to really. I'm, oh wow! I'm, I'm looking at pictures of my uh, New Hope uh, shelf. And I'm counting about a dozen Luke tattoos, yeah. at least at least a dozen yeah, over the. I'm sorry he doesn't have rocker ankles. I'm sorry he, he doesn't have elbows that go 80 million degrees, but I have a lot of him. <laughs> I gotta oh, go. For, tunic. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't have a lot. Oh. He doesn't. He, obviously, we need a new Luke, but uh, I don't have any Dryden. I gotta do it for Dryden. This is for you, Lewis. I gotta do it for Dryden. I'm sorry, everybody, but I gotta do it for Dryden. You don't need to apologize, John, and don't <laughs> don't, don't give it all the big and that you're doing it for, for <laughs> <Louis. The biggin. laughs> Totally not me. Yeah, yeah. He is, he is all, uh, Dryden is on my list. He's number 18. He's been on my list every year. I think it is nuts that we don't have main characters, whether it be definitive main characters from the original trilogy, whether it be main villains from any of the movies or series. We need all these characters. And Dryden is one of them, so I got to pick Dryden. Fair enough, buddy. Nick. Yeah, well, you see, the thing is that if I was to really sit down and think about, like, put an objective hat on or something, um, you see, Luke is my number two, Dryden is down at number 12, but at the end of the day, oh, God, we do need the Luke and everything, and it's scandalous it's not being done yet. But, I, you know, I've kit-bashed and I've made a farm boy one way or another, but then again, that's the thing. There is nothing for him, nothing for him, Dryden Voss. And that was bad. So I think I'm, I can't believe I'm going to do this. Nick, I'm actually, I can't actually believe I'm going to do this. I'm actually thinking of voting for Dryden, you know, just to put the message out. <laughs> this is insane, isn't it? I can't yeah, believe they know, it. They know we want Luke. Know. Luke's won a lot of stuff before. They know we want Luke. What you just said, John, was actually what was going through my head when you said I'm looking at my pile of 15 Lukes and, I just yeah. thought, well, you know, I've got nothing for Dryden Boss at all. I can't even kit bash him or invent him from anything else, really. Um, I was going to yeah. say something, but I'm not going to say a word because I'm not going to. I don't want to influence in your choice, Nick. You you pick whoever. This, you, it's a good, this is probably going to get clipped, and I'm going to get <laughs> ridiculed. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might just spice it up here a bit and go for Dryden Boss. You know, yeah. Yes. He's done well. The boy's done well tonight. <laughs> Okay, uh, before I go to Chris, because I, I, I have a feeling who he's going to go for here, <laughs> um, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say my vote quick. I, I'm gonna go for Luke Skywalker. He won it last year on our thing. I yeah, I get that. Um, but if the line ended tomorrow, oh yeah, I want Luke Skywalker. Oh, I want to change my vote now. No, no, no. So this is the thing. That's the thing. <laughs> No, that, I didn't want to influence you. You swing my vote. If the line ended tomorrow, I have to. I want the Luke Skywalker. Ah, but having said that, Tim, if the line did end tomorrow, you still wouldn't have a Dryden Voss, and you've got loads of Luke still. You know, what I mean? I'd be happy with that because <laughs> I want to. I want to. I want a definitive Luke who is Star Wars. So for me, he wins. Uh, but it's not up to me. It's up to four people or the chat. Chris, who are you going for, buddy? Are you going to take Dryden Voss home or are you going to put it to the chat? It's entirely up to you. Oh, you Tim, you're manipulating feel. him here, man. <laughs> I no, not... thought you were going to say, uh, gonna... well, it's my live stream, so I'm going to decide who the winner is. No. Um, no. Um, <laughs> look, I've been, I've been saying that, yeah, we, we have a Luke. We have a Luke on a vintage card. Ooh, yes, it's not God. in TVC. It's not up to the quality that we'd like it to be, but we do have one. That solo shelf that you've got all those lovely hand solo figures from, that you've got a Corellian Hound for, you've got no bad guy for that shelf at all. Dryden Voss. 
Wow. That's Dryden Voss. Amazing. <laughs> wins. Oh, I love it. It's so funny. Why not, man? That's the madness. So, someone puts their rigged system. I, I'm telling you now. Dryden, <laughs> like, the, 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 this is not. not rigged because there is no way that I would have Dryden Voss winning the, <laughs> the, 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 the bracket on my, on my live stream. <laughs> oh, my God. What has happened here? <laughs> <laughs> That is incredible. Uh, oh, I mean, look, I'm, I'm I'm curious to see if this one did go to a vote in the thing. What what the audience would say? I, I'm probably going to see a horrible landslide in the way I don't want to. Yeah, but yeah, um, <laughs> he's my he's my number two most wanted. Um, so yeah, yeah, absolutely. People in the chat are thrilled with this. I can see. <laughs> So but, uh, someone's put, I'm curious what Chris thinks. So I'm, I think he might mean Chris from Banter Skull. Um, shall we? Sh I'll tell you what. Should we have some? No. So no. So actually, what? I'm gonna. I, I, I'm gonna do this. So Dryden Watt Voss has won. There's no change in that. You you know three three out of the four of us, three crazy people, have um, <laughs> voted for Dryden Voss. <laughs> Uh, to win, to win the the hour bracket, um, but I'm going to put it to the chat just to see what they would have voted for yep. as well. Okay, it's only fair that we find out what the 300 people that are watching uh, want or would have would have voted for because you never know. You never know. There's a lot of people in the chat, sort of, with their opinions. There's, so we'll find out. There's dozens of us crazy people, Tim. Yeah. Dozens. <laughs> There's enough to get him on the bracket, at least. I'm not touching my uh, phone for this one. I'm going to leave that. Yeah. We'll see how close it gets. We'll see. We'll see. Probably not very. <laughs> well, 60% at the moment. <clears throat> for who? I can't see it in the minute because I haven't voted Luke, myself. Luke, so Luke, Luke's at sixty percent, right. which isn't a huge, you know. So yes, I will reiterate: everyone that is upset about this result, everyone that is happy about this result, you got to vote in the actual when the actual voting yeah. starts on Wednesday. This was this was awesome. This was a lot of fun, but you know, it's just our opinions. We want to hear everybody's opinions. So uh, see who makes it to the. Uh, the final rounds when voting starts on Wednesday. <laughs> we will have the link at SWTVC on Instagram. We'll send you the link, Tim, when we have it. Uh, we're getting it ready. We're getting everything ready still. So yeah. over the next few days, I want to see everybody posting your brackets, you know, making videos about it, making posts about it, whatever, uh, fighting for Frog Lady, uh, hanging on for Han, doing whatever, time for Tonica, whatever you got to do. And then, uh, yeah, start the voting and see how it shakes out. And again, yes, and all the, the ranking system is probably the most effective data for Hasbro to see to begin with. We'll be providing all that later. But uh, yeah, this is it's a lot of fun to discuss and debate this stuff with everybody. Yeah, and I'm glad there's some people in the in the in the yeah, chat that aren't taking it as too seriously either. You know, very yeah. wookie, just make them all, yeah. All these gaps here should all be done anyway. God damn it, Dryden Boss should be done, Luke Skywalker should have been done a long time ago. Yep. Thank you, Rob Chewbacca Toys. I appreciate that, buddy. Yes, thank yeah. you. Yeah. I mean, if you want to blame anyone, blame Nick because he could have because <laughs> <laughs> he he could have put it to the polls, and then and then Luke would have won two years in a row with sixty one percent, but he didn't. So blame him. No, I'm only joking. Nah, um, it's only because I've been banging my drum about Luke Skywalker for so long. It was just I just thought I'd throw that in the fact that you know we don't have a figure for Dryden and all that. That was all really, but yeah. Oh man, Luke Skywalker all the way. Love, love Luke. He's yeah, obviously very fun. important to get Luke in the line, but mm, oh yeah. Let's Finalist just take a look at Dryden be. Voss's route to the final, shall yeah. we? Let's see <laughs> how he actually <laughs> how he got there. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. So he beat, beat he Baylor. beat the Tonica sisters first of all. <laughs> then he beat oh before God. that he beat Balen Skull. 
<laughs> he's Before Wiley that, with those bladed things. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's Before that, he beat Kira. Yeah, well. Before that, he beat Ben Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> And originally, he beat Chancellor Palpatine. Wow. Well, uh, which version? Is that the... The uh, Jedi Arrest. Oh, right? wow, yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing. That is People incredible. Ask... Like... He was ranked number 25 going into it. I'm not sure if I voted for him in any of the rounds to put him through. <laughs> So have you been conspiring against me? I you are know. not happy about this, Tim, are you? No, no, no. It's just, it's just, it's just, you know. Yeah. No, he's a I cool see. character, Dryden Voss. I like, I like the, I like this solo film. I do. You voted for him at one point tonight, didn't you? I think sure. I voted him for him in one in one of the rounds. I think I did. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And I, I see Miles in the chat keeps asking. There was one thousand two hundred eighteen list submissions. I said at the beginning, which which had twenty nine thousand five hundred nine individual entries. And which resulted in over 2,200 different characters or character outfits. So among all those, the fact that any of these 64 are on the bracket means, you know, a lot of people want them. Uh, John, so, um, yeah. obviously in, in the final there, we've got Luke, the main character. Uh, I don't know if it's just me, but there seem to be a lot more main characters in the bracket this year. Well, uh, all like the A New Hope mains did really well last year as well in the... Um, in the seating at least and in some of the bracket um and uh, yeah there's a lot more prequel mains this year i think anakin being in ahsoka helped to get him in the bracket. he was in last figure standing too i think he kind of pulled obi-wan and maybe padme along with him and since it's you know the 25th anniversary of phantom menace and all that um but it's yeah since there was 42 of the characters are the same as they were last year so similar to dryden who's been on it every single year so it's that continual um you know request for him She's but... in... i think he's been asking this a few times i've seen this what is the purpose of the new five poa the as far as i'm aware the purpose of it is for children to get them into the line it's a cheaper price point it's a lower quality item it's for them it's... but collectors will collect anything right they'll still think they're collectibles and, and buy them as well but i you know i'm not sure how long they'll last personally I don't from early from what people are saying to me about them hanging on pegs and stuff. I don't know, but I think that's you know they don't. As far as I know, it's, uh, John, can you might be able to yeah back this up. As far as I'm aware, they are a different budget now completely, like sort of thing. That's it's, what yeah they came up on the last um, round table Q and A's a bunch. And Hasbro seemed shocked that any collectors would even ask a question about a new line of Star Wars figures. It's like, yeah, obviously we're going to ask questions. But um, yeah, they said they're not from the like the fan collector budget. They're all from the kid budget. Um, and yeah, I did. Uh, it might not be surprising to anybody who watched this stream or yesterday's stream, but I did buy them all. And they're not great. But uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to have these kind of entry point main characters in some, some form or fashion. Yeah. <laughs> Fancy that one. Frustration. The frustration is going to be when that line gets a figure that's not in vintage. Yeah. Well, already people don't even seem to care that the Luke, the Luke that's in Epic Hero series is not the same Luke costume that's in vintage. But uh, you know, it's like it's the uh, different collar that he has in Book of Boba Fett. Stuff like that, second outfit in Book of Boba Fett. But yeah, once they get vehicles and stuff Fun characters like yeah. <laughs> yeah the collection the five pair line is the same price point as TVC. No, it's it's not, is it? I think he means like like the Marvel one has like nine points for it. They have oh, elbows right. and knees and stuff gotcha. and, and ball jointed hips and stuff. Right. Yeah, I'm not too sure why they've less made them less articulated than their counterparts and other lines. Yeah. No, is not sure. that's to do with the license fee? Probably. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, to keep them at that Seems price Seems to be the point. only thing that makes yeah. any sense, yeah. yeah. What is the poll at now? Uh, 62.38, is it? 62%. Uh, for Dryden, obviously. It's nice to see. Yeah, obviously. No. Yeah, it's no, nice to see that still love for, well, 
He's, he's see, so we're we're part of the thirty eight percent that wanted Dryden. So see, that's I wonder what it would have been if it was him. But speak for yourself, John. Yeah. <laughs> what, would it, what would it have been if it was Luke D. Bale on there? That's an interesting idea, isn't it? Yeah, I have to assume. Yeah, Balin's probably going to do better in the in the bracket itself. Yeah. Um, yeah, probably will. I'm sure Luke could still make. It. He was in the final four last year, I believe. Tatooine Luke. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, you put put the madness in March Madness with this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah free mad guests. Yeah. <laughs> then, absent, absent guests, of course. Tim, we got Christian there. We maybe see his clip again. I don't know if we can. No, I'm not playing it again. <laughs> I'm not playing it again. Uh, once was enough. Once just was a enough. little reminder. <laughs> but it did look like him big time. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I just want to thank uh, everyone. For watching it's been a lot of fun as always I, I love doing this stream with you guys every year it is a highlight of the year for me so i do uh, do appreciate you uh your time we've been on three hours now which is wow. amazing um i want to thank everyone in the chat as well because we were over 300 for well pretty much all of it apart from well since balen uh since uh what's his name again dryden since dryden <laughs> since dryden won <laughs> We've, we've lost a few people. <laughs> uh, but no, everyone knows it's good fun. Well, at least I think they do. Anyway, yeah. it's all a good fun, guys. A few laptops um, got thrown across the room, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I appreciate everyone in the chat, really do. Um, appreciate the guys at the beginning of the stream that became members of the channel as well. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, appreciate you, Nick, for coming on, buddy. Everyone knows where you can find... <laughs> Nick, only one Kenobi channel. Yeah, cheers. Um, too. Chris from Toys of the Jedi. If you're on you Instagram, people out there, then that is definitely a uh, a page or an account, whatever you call it, that you should be following. Does great work for TVC, and uh, you you guys all know already. SWTVC, they are the uh, creators of this very fun bracket that we're doing today. So thanks. Uh, who will be your guest next year, boss? <laughs> Cliff, mate, I, you know, I, I, I will have to rethink that one. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Listen, all opinions are welcome. This is why we do it, and I appreciate these guys. I really do. It's been fun. Uh, any, any part, any final comments you guys want to make to the people that are still watching, John? Just, uh, yeah, thank you guys. Thanks for participating in March Madness every year. And thanks for uh, submitting your list. And thanks for watching along. And uh, again, remember, just please vote uh, every every matchup when they uh, kick off on Wednesday. So we'll have more information on that coming shortly. But uh, yeah, thanks uh, for participating. It's always a lot of fun. And thanks for having us, Tim. Always love doing this. Yeah, yeah. Even, no especially when it goes totally off the rails and Dryden Voss wins it all. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? But that's the way it's gone. Anyway, Chris, <laughs> any final comments? Uh never tell me odds that uh Dryden can't win it. Uh, yeah. uh, th uh thank you very much to everybody for, for tuning in. Uh if you haven't already, do hit that like button. Mm -hmm. Um thank you to the vintage um uh, vintage collection group. Uh, for obviously running the actual uh, tournament. Uh, look forward to it every year. So uh, thrilled to have been a part of this live stream. So thank you very much, Tim, for the invite. And uh, yeah, yeah. Hopefully back next year, maybe. Yeah, no, it's been we'll great see. having you on, Chris. We'll see. <laughs> it's been great having you on, mate, um, for sure. Nick, yeah, you did you've done it before, Chris, right? You did it a couple of years ago, right? Did you? Uh, You've never done completing the bracket. He's been on live streams with me a few yeah. times. All right, maybe I'm just thinking of something else. Yeah, yeah. It's a random live stream. I think we've done this twice before, right? Yeah, this is a third one. Yeah, yeah. Right. this is the third one, and we had Christian two years in a row. Mm -hmm. He couldn't do this year. Um, yeah. But yeah, cheers, Chris. I appreciate it, buddy. It's been great. And yeah. uh, Nick, any final comments before we go? No, just great. Thanks for having us on, Tim. And uh, yeah, you know, last night was a great stream as well, John. And just to reiterate all the hard work you've been doing with the lads. Thank you. Uh, amazing. So then bring on the main tournament, you know, the public vote. Yeah. See what we get there. 
Dryden Boss again. More people on the panel for these. Jay Metz, buddy, uh, uh, you know, I'd like more opinions on here and people to talk to, but it would go on for hours. It took three hours for four of us, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would go yeah. on for for ages. And, uh, you know, yeah, it's it's gone midnight here, but I appreciate that, buddy. Uh, yeah, cheers, Nick. Cheers, Chris. Yeah, thanks, cheers, John. It's been a pleasure as always. Been a fun night. Cheers to everybody in the chat as always. There was no Ask Boss Bounty video today because I did this instead. Uh, but that will be back next week. Uh, appreciate you all. And we're going to sign off now. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button before you go. And we'll see you on the yeah. next one. Take care.